this thing working? Right, we should be good. Gonna use solo queue. Bro, I was going to do it yesterday, but I ended up sleeping for so long. I think I'm still sick. I played two games off stream of EU solo queue. Dude, it's so much more peaceful when you just don't have a uh, chat enabled. Holy fuck. I was like, damn, EU solo queue, everyone's so nice. Then I just realized that I chat off. But I just have no, uh, no desire to turn it on. Oh shit, wait, hold up. RNG is smolder, they can win. Surely. Surely. LWX is good enough to at least play. Boulder on Zeri. Hmm, hmm. Oh, you know what? I just think RNG is going to win the first game. Do I gotta put the ads on Twitch or it's doomed. Got yourself a Big Mac too, like Gilius for breakfast? Wait, Gilius got a Big Mac for breakfast? Nah, I haven't eaten anything. I have leftover food, bro. I've been eating a lot over here, though. I guess we're trying to... Dude, when you, when you are with uh, Gilius, there's no option but to bulk. He just wants to eat a fucking beast every day. Got a notification on YouTube you went live and not Twitch? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I think I'm like shadow banned on Twitch or some bullshit. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, I got black coffee, bro. I've, I've got the, uh, no longer do I have the three-in-one coffee. I've got real, just straight black coffee. Who's gonna win this? Oh, let me uh, up the quality. Who's gonna win this? I mean, I'm not sure who's gonna win. But I think that, like, I feel like RNG should win this, but then again, they're just such a bad team. It's like, I would, I would bet on RNG most of the time, but they're just such a horrible team that I'm scared of them, you know? Right. Should be caught up. They're just so impossibly terrible. Bro. I would go one less. Alright, one less, one less. Imagine if coffee and not just pure sugar, yeah. Thank God. Hey, Harry is on Kasante, that's like his best chip. I don't know, bro. I have no idea. Krako Volibear, I'm excited to see Krako's Volibear. I mean, he's like a jungler that is generally pretty good at ganking. Seems like a good champion for him. Hey Harry, fighting back a little bit. It's hard to fight back on Kasante early because you just have like no mana. 
most of the other champions are effectively mana-less top. Like, if you think about the other champions that are good in top lane right now, Gnar, who's mana-less, you have Aatrox, who's mana-less, you have Renekton, who's mana-less, you have Udyr, which is effectively mana-less, because the um, spells cost, like, almost nothing. And you go Doran's Ring, you just spam your abilities. So many mana-less mana champions, and Cassante actually has to manage his mana. Uh, okay. Wade's going for crap here. Krakow hasn't based yet. If Wei sees this, there's an angle for him to potentially... Let's see. Krakow is my... It's actually really big to take all the small ones if you can get them. <laughs> Will Wei want to fight over these, this, uh, these Krugs? They both have smite for this. Smart from Kroko. Yeah, he's keeping his, uh, you. An extended fight. I mean, way as lethal tempo, but that, but also Kraka would have like Q reset or uh, W reset. I mean, where you get the healing. And Rakan is coming now. I love it, bro. How dumb does jungle look? One guy bases and he just looks at the other guy on um, on Krugs, but it's actually good for Wei because Wei is able to then start grubs off the fact that Kraka didn't base. Wei only gonna take two? Bro, you should take them all. Dude, I really don't believe in uh, this Zarian to Smolder pick. I know everyone likes it, I think it's so fake. Bro, I think it's such a fake matchup, but people do it, so I don't know. I guess we'll see over time if... Well, I guess we won't see over time because Smolder will just be nerfed soon. But we will see eventually whether it's actually a counter or a real answer or if Smolder's just turbo broken. Because I feel like the thing is, when a champion like Smolder comes out, people are not even playing it that well yet. Like, they'll play it better in the future. Like, who knows, bro? Maybe the Mega Nerf Smolder will come back in and it'll be meta at a point. Like, think about how OP Zeri was originally. Just the rate at which people stack is going to be so much more efficient. Their ulti usage is going to be so efficient. Mm. That's still there on Smolder, by the way. That is one of the things that's not getting nerfed. I feel like that was the easiest thing to nerf about Smolder is ult cooldown. Up the ult cooldown of Smolder. Seems pretty obvious to me because of the fact that part of the reason why Smolder is so OP is the fact that you can sit in lane um, over and over again mid and you can scale for free because you just can ult every single wave, you know, like every single big wave that they stack, you can ult. Every single time they push side lanes and try to make a play mid, you just ult mid and you one shot the wave. So it's like you just get to your conditions so easily yourself, you know, like ideally in the game, it should require other things to actually get you there. Okay, we got a level six from way. Hope rides out. Not bad. Looks good for AL. Good E from Hope. No flash is used from uh, AL as well. Damn. Yeah, they tried to make this level six play onto Nocturne. Or onto uh, Zeri with Nocturne. Nocturne onto Zeri. And Zeri was just able to chill. E the wall calmly, and he was good. Yeah, decent reaction. Then they're forced to hit Rakan. Rakan just goes out as well. And you're left with the Vol Bear, who's really tanky. Right. Hanging in level 6. I mean, the Nocturne Nico combo is what RNG is going to be trying to play off of. Eight and five angle. I mean, eight and five is good, bro. If you're eight and five in LPL, you're most likely going to be in playoffs in the split. So, 
big uh big win if they're able to get it. Okay, shift completed for Zeri. Pretty big spike. I mean, these next grubs, I think Ao wants to contest for sure. It just depends on the conditions. I mean, they don't have to contest it. Nautilus is there, level 6, and Nico has really good position. They don't know where Nico is. Plus Nocturnal, maybe you just give them. No way RNG loses with Smolder. I think they can do it. It's like two competing forces here. Two opposing forces. One of them is Nocturne losing every single game in pro play. The other one is Smolder winning every single game in pro play. But what is Shanks building? Mm, this doesn't look good for AL. They have to connect. Ming is in there. Ming kind of griefed. Ming just turbo inted. Good from, from uh, Kale here. He stopped the engage. Nico was looking to flash here. Oh, that's a fucking slaughter now. Big, big, big. Nico was looking to R flash into all of them, and Kale just R'd and then flashed into the Nico to stop the Nico from being able to uh, CC the whole team. Really good. Well played. But also Ming Giga inted. <laughs> he didn't even get off his... Uh... Dude, wait, you don't even win this, by the way. Oh my god, bro. I don't think LWX wins this either, by the way. Let's see. Oh my god, it's GG. The game is over. Never mind, bro. They're getting 2v1. This is like Zeri's big spike, though, bro. We, we talked about it. Zeri builds Shiv here. She's so strong. And then two people just suicide enter. The shit player in Ming. Yeah, I mean, Ming, Ming has been pretty bad. And Nautilus is like his best champion, you know? This does this. Doesn't even get his ulti off. Really good from Kale here. I mean, they probably would have won the fight anyway because they their HP bars were so good here. But I mean, it's really good what Kale did. Wow, this is just horrible gameplay from RNG. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. Like, wow, they suck. Holy fuck, they suck. No wonder RNG is the worst team in the league. With plays like that, bro. It's no mystery why they just are terrible. This should just be a clean AO win. Clean. Clean position from Kale. Rosaria, he ults the clone here. Oh, wait, no, it's actually the real one. What the fuck? That was the clone. I mean, he's just trying to escape, though. Yeah, was it here in time? I mean, that's a kill on to breathe. I don't think it matters at all, though. Oh, pretty good play from them here. Killing Mazzari would be huge. And they got on to Smolder. Surely Smolder doesn't smolder this game, right? What's oh, first item Knight's Vow on this uh, Volibear? 
Nocturne Nocturne lived. Oh, WX says Flash. He probably lives here. See the Flash? Nope, never mind. Not gonna invest it. He's, he's dead anyway. I mean, Shake said Flash to follow. I guess, I guess he's probably just dead. Probably better to just die there. I mean, Smolder got to shut down. Let's see goal difference. Mm. 1.2k. Lower than it should be. Shutdowns are broken in this game. No, anything about AL, but they seem pretty solid. Who are their best players? Their best players have been... I mean, their best player has been Shanks. Like, they've all been solid at different times. Um, but their best, most consistent player is Shanks. He's been pretty consistently good. I said this team is doing not. Yeah, I mean, they're like, when you look at the names, you'd think this team would be decent, but no, they, they play horribly together, bro. There's like, there's like almost no redeeming parts of RNG's gameplay. Oh, they're just going? Oh, they're going straight out to the Nico. Nocturne has no ult, bro. Why are we contesting this when Nocturne has no ult? Anyone know? No one knows. I mean, decently played from... Decently played from Breathe, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Did anyone grab the Herald? Did anyone grab the Herald, by the way? Did Kale have it? And that's why they can't use it? Wait, hold on. Get me out of the ad. No, no one grabbed it. <laughs> they, just, they just engaged. <laughs> they just leave the Herald there and they just fucking go. Move the condoms, I need the scoreboard. You probably need the condoms more. Actually, never mind. You don't need the condoms. What am I saying? I mean, it looks pretty smooth. Drake in 30 seconds. Our ult cooldown should be super low. He's got Malignant's level 11 CDR boots and a Fetish Codex. Already half cooldown. I mean, he should have it for uh, or the Drake fight. Look at that ult cooldown on, on Ari, by the way. He's also probably got Ultimate Hunter and stacks of it. Look at his ult cooldown. It was literally like a 30 second ult cooldown. That was AL 7 and 5? They're not a bad team, bro. They're pretty good. That's how. Alright, you're definitely giving this Drake, RNG. Nah, no way you're trying to contest this. No way you're trying to steal this. Dude, this ulti didn't even give you stacks. LWX, you're so bad, bro. In a game like this, imagine using your ult to try to, like, RNG steal third Drake, which is a chemtech. Over keeping your ult to wave clear mid when they could be just trying to force on you at any point. Like, it's such a low value ult to go for there. He didn't even hit champions. Like, if he if he went for stacks and hit champions, okay. But he literally just throws it to try to steal the Drake. Come on, man. Oh, man. That was not good from Tanguin, but it's okay. 
Old squad is coming up. They're trying to fight. They're going to fight this 4v5. He's leaving Ming. They want to go for the other guys. Yell has no W, though. Uh, this doesn't really look like a good play from AL. They lose so much tempo for this. They don't even catch anyone. Last cones, bro. The boys are out. Is this drinkable yet? It's been like 20 minutes, it better be drinkable. Alright, back to the days of black coffee, I'm down. I mean, AL wants to try to end this game pretty efficiently. Maybe it's a two Baron game, but you gotta, you wanna get first Baron like pretty early. Ball bears really tanky right now. Rukern plus Knight's Val is on two items. One where you can have like volley tank it forever, like volley Zeri Rakan stay on the uh, Baron, and then you let Ari just hide in the flank. Mm. Maybe they're just gonna play for Soul. It's in two minutes. Got their global red right on time. BBC in the morning. No, this is a small, a small BC. The small black coffee and SBC. I'm done with the BBC in the morning. Oh damn, the multi-stream. Yep, we're multi-streaming out here, bro. Fuck it. Why not? You know why LPL English streams only a few days? Yeah, I do. Uh, Sacks, 205. Actually, he's stacking pretty efficiently. Now, if Smolder wins this game, we delete the champ. If it wins this game, we really just delete the champ. Bro, why am I afraid of the Smolder champ? RNG has played this game so terrible. But I guess LNG played a pretty horrible game and won a game of Smolder, so... Who knows, man? I have no idea if it means anything. <laughs> AL shouldn't be the ones contesting through bot here, but they kind of got sucked onto bot side. Kill the crab together. Uh, what did Ming just do? Ah, whatever he did was terrible. They go right on to Tanguin. Tanguin doesn't get an ult. They kill. Pretty nice. Kale dies. Smolder has execute. Bro, holy. This, uh, Ari did so much damage in this fight. All right, soul for AL. So for, so for AL, then they're going to set up similar thing on Baron. Should be all good. Wow, that was really good for Ming. 
You see what he did? He queued in onto the tank and then he ulted the one guy that has a Banshees. <laughs> All right, that's the engage, baby. That's the engage. That's the Nautilus that was like too OP and winning MSI twice in a row, by the way. That Nautilus was giga broken. Less than two years ago, that Nautilus was banned at MSI because he was too good. Okay,给他的时间也不多,他打团就能吐个两口,对,也就死完了。那现在带着八千金的领先AL准备开始威胁大龙了。呃,要打的话可以直接打了,小威这边是没有大招的,梦魇大招很久。中上两路兵线的压
打到中期，小火龙叠到二百二十五升，然后团队没有那么劣势的情况下，你打团。Tom, if I'll be over at MSI again, do you think that all of LCK fans will deny the existence and value of it, or will it only be T1 fans? Who knows, bro? Who knows? But I think that like MSI, this is this is what I said last year. The fact that MSI now has two teams going to it, and it's double elimination, like drastically increases the value. Like if before it was something where like I mean nothing is gonna matter as much as Worlds. Like you could win MSI ten times and you would rather win Worlds once. But like as a analyst, the value of MSI goes from being like a like a point four of Worlds or being like nothing to being like point seven or like point eight. Of worlds when it comes to like, like the value of it throughout the year because you have, you know, four elite teams competing double elimination. Like the team that wins that tournament, that is like a legit tournament win. Whereas before it was like there's one best of five between LPL and LCK, and that determines who wins MSI. See that Razor ranked your Gragasy flash play? Yeah, I saw it. MSI was way more fun than Worlds for me last year. I mean, the thing that, that makes MSI really fun compared to Worlds is that MSI like happens quick. Like you, when you're when you're excited by MSI, you get like the really good series. Like JDG versus T1 was really it was a really good series. Uh, then you had like Gen G play against T1. Then you had you know BLG play against Gen G. You had all these best of fives. They happen quick. Whereas like the whole portion of time where you would be excited for MSI, which is like 10, 11 best of five, like. G2 versus BLG was hype. Like even those best of fives that are like not the best, the ones that get you hyped in the tournament happen quickly. So you carry your hype from one day into the next. Whereas like with Worlds, you lose all your hype because it's like, okay, best of five happens. Like T1 beat LNG, then you wait five more days. You, you wait five days and then you have two best of fives. And then you wait another six days and you have uh, one more best of five. So you play three best of fives over 14 days with 11 days break. Whereas like MSI, it just happens quickly, bro. You get to experience the whole tournament. When you're excited for the matches, you're like, oh shit, this just happened. And we got another big match tomorrow. Instead of being like, all right, let's, 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 let's wait a week. I love the, the best of fives every day, bro. That shit is so hype. Mm. And I feel like that's like, I don't know, bro. I, I prefer that in a tournament format. I don't like the, the massive, like, I, I don't like like one month plus of a tournament on a patch. It's not a, like a huge fan of it. All worlds needed in those days was lower bracket and it would have been the best tournament ever. I think lower bracket and um, like quicker schedule. Like bro, if you watch like, if you watch uh, the international, so my favorite esports tournament is the international. I think it's like the best esports tournament. Like, I don't know, it's just so hyped to me. Like the amount of money on it, the like pace of it, the amount of games played, I just love the international. Um, I feel like if they just had a quicker pace with double limb, the tournament would just be so sick. And I, and I just don't agree with what Riot's main idea is, which is the reason they don't want double elimination is because I think it kills hype. They'll be like, oh, like there's no double elimination in like the most hype matches, like in other sports, for example, there's no double elimination in the NBA or NFL or whatever, a World Cup, whatever. There's no double elimination in those tournaments. And what makes it so hype is that, um, is that there's so many, there's so much stakes on just one match. I think in esports, with how few tournaments there are, you just want to see more elite best of fives between regions. That's what I want to see when I get to Worlds. Like I watch so much domestic league that when I get to Worlds, when I get to MSI, I just want to see the teams play against each other more. So I think I'll stream some solo queue today. So I have a talk show with um, D-God and Monty, Power Spike, scheduled for three. 
So if the LPL matches end early, I can do like a couple solo queues before I have a talk show. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna like trying to get into the, the swing of playing solo queue on stream. I mean, to be honest, I'm still like, I think I'm still jet lagged. Bro, yesterday I slept so much. Like I wasn't jet lagged immediately and I thought it's, I was immune to jet lag. But yesterday, okay, last night I slept 10 hours. Then I, I, then my girlfriend slept during the day. I was like, whatever, I'll just like take a, a quick nap. I slept for five more hours. And then I slept another eight hours last night. So I slept like almost 24 hours.生活完全新颖拯救者
，是以二十六分钟快速的碾压推掉了他对面的基地。其实顺着刚才两位解说老师的赛后分析，有聊到关于 RNG 的 BP 阵容。其实刚才多多老师和赵志明老师都是觉得他们在第一局的 BP 上是没有什么问题的，包括一些前期的处理。那来到第二局，如果 RNG 这边要做出调整，他们应该在哪些方面做出一些改变呢？呃，我。我个人的观点啊，是呃，我个人认为是 RNG 还是要在前期节奏上下稳重。你看，因为你结合上一场他们打京东，嗯，他们打京东两局都前期优势，那是因为他们拿出了狗熊体系，他们拿出了一些小控制体系，在对抗强大的京东的时候，他们都能够一度在前期掌握住节奏，甚至领先几千块。但是你看这场面对 AL， 他反而偏刷了。他打野出梦魇啊，像小火龙啊，像尼克，他反而偏刷了，对他不偏节奏了。你那你前期就被 AL 击溃了。我本来是以为啊 ，RNG 经过了。朱开后面来了这这段时间，我本来以为他们是非常非常重视前期的呃这么个趋势的，但是发现哎、嗯、这场比赛似乎又变回去了。呃，主要是这个阵容拿出来，其实呃运营的思路很清晰，就是大家发育，然后等小火龙叠层。嗯，但他们其实是在前期给到了呃 AL 这边机会的。对，所以说我感觉他们还是拿打架的阵容吧，因为可以看到上一把梦魇你没有大的时候也一直想去打架，呃，那我们就选一些直接小技能厉害的，这小技能也能打架的，对吧？啊，就直接战斗爽，不要想那么多运营的事情。我估计这场小薇要选狗熊了，他在红色吗？他要选狗熊。对，而且小薇狗熊玩的也很多嘛。嗯。那其实对于 A L 来讲，这一场因为上一场其实这样双方对搬了很多 A D C 啊 ，R N G 一直在为自己的小火龙做铺垫。对，那这一场我倒觉得 A L 他不用跟 R N G 对搬做 A D 啊，更多的看看能不能在下路。Got my black coffee. I got no fucking food in this place. Probably good because I've been eating like a fat pig for four days now. It's okay, bro. We're just gonna go to the gym and just lift as heavy as we possibly can, and then just eat insane amounts of food. That's the plan. Okay. Karma first pick. Or AL. I mean, Shakes is pretty good at everything, so let's see what RG goes for. Maybe they try to go for something like an Ari themselves. I mean, Tangyu and Ari was probably one of his best champs. So maybe they try to play some like Ari Vi type bullshit. Maybe they play like Ari Viego, something else I could see RG playing, something that Wei is is good at. He's somebody who likes play Viego. Breathe Jax is not bad. Oh, nice. Ming can run it down again on Nautilus. I mean, if you're AL here, do you not just slam the Zeri? Okay, there's the Ari. Okay, they're listening. They're listening. If they pick uh, Nautilus here, I think you just slam like Zeri Rakan. You can go Zeri Nautilus here yourselves if you want for AL. Assuming they want to play Zeri again, it's their counter pick. Zeri Nautilus is probably better than Zeri Rakan when you're playing into Ari. Pick the Rakan anyway. I mean, they're pretty comfortable on on it, so I guess they're down with playing the lane again. I mean, Ming should play Nautilus here, but I could see them going the angle of just prioritizing Vi. Vi is pretty good into Rakan and Zeri. Which is the angle that they choose. Okay. So here AL should ban Nautilus for sure. Um, I think RNG should either draft Cassante or they should ban Cassante here. If they don't ban Cassante, they should pick it on four. I think AL should probably ban Jax. There it is. Jax ban pretty good. Um, into Breed's champion pool. Other thing they could potentially end up banning is Camille. If they want to like really focus in on this um, this Cassante pick, because you you would assume that Ming will pick his champion on four. I mean, AL here should either ban Nautilus or they should ban Camille. I think. They ban Cassante themselves. Okay. That, that, I mean, that's the other option. Now, Breathe has 
So what, what I think should happen is RNG should pick Nautilus here, and then they should counter pick on five. Why Alistar, bro? Why not Nautilus? Just because you ran it down on Nautilus, it's no longer a good pick or what? Mm. Udyr solid. They could go Udyr Volibear. They can go Udyr. Now just probably go Udyr Volibear, bro. Double bear. I mean, technically, Croco could go something like Viego if he wants to. Go like a more AD champion, but I'm down with a ball bear. Kindred? Kindred would be fine. His Kindred is not terrible. It's a pretty, it's a pretty decent Kindred game, to be fair. All right, last pick. Does Breathe have anything spicy? I mean, kind of looks like it'll just end up being Aatrox again, if I'm being honest. Ends up being Renekton. Okay. How do RNG fix their dog at Spring for Summer? I mean, I don't even know where you start with this lineup. The thing is, like, you have play, like, maybe you just play LP the entire time and you just ditch LWX. But I think the main thing is the, the players are individually just underperforming to such a degree that I, I, I'm not sure what you do about it. Shoku Bring Uzi back, bro. You think you think Uzi after being contract fucked for years by RNG wants to play on the team again? Fuck that, bro. Ain't no way. I think Hope will get more kills than Shanks this map. I mean, yeah, he should. Zeri versus Karma. The baby. Arrested in Miami on battery charges. Shah Mia says, what you stealing batteries for? You got money, what the fuck? Good fucking point. Good shit, Mia. Mia.在大家的加油声中啊，我们看到AL组织了一波入野区，并且也被安吉的视野啊以及小明看到了。毕竟是卡马的阵容啊，前期有RQ这种超强的一级团技能。哎，不讲武德，后面有人挂着。Rocko having a good split. Yeah, he's having a pretty decent split. This is actually really big. Ghost is not super useful in lane. Ming is not able to base yet, or base period. Damn, look at this. The Udyr goes and invades enemy red while the Kindred is invading enemy blue. Didn't end up working because Wei was intelligent and started enemy raptors, or enemy uh, wolves. But this is actually something where if the Udyr guesses correctly, like let's say Udyr thinks that like the Vi is doing this and he just harasses the Vi, the Vi will just get completely giga fucked. I like the idea here from AL. One of the the best things about Udyr is how strong he is level one, how strong he is level one because other champions, you know, they're gonna have one ability where Udyr effectively has his ult at level one. So you can like two v one at level one. You can push people off camps really easily at level one. 
Something that I think is a core part of the champion. You just have to be a menace on this champion, bro. You just gotta be abusive. The whole point, man. Crash early waves, temple base on people. I mean, here, the, the one thing that you lose when you do this as Udir is um, you lose the ability to push your lane as easily. But that's not everything, you know? And you can eventually reestablish tempo in the matchup later on. Harry took a really bad trade here. And this is just not good to do in general. Level 2 to level 3, taking a trade. Gotta respect level up timers still. Good trade from Shanks. Shanks doing his thing mid. So here, the reason why Harry uses double R is because enemy um, Redekton has empowered W, so it shield breaks. Renekton is not a matchup where you feel like you need to win super hard early. It's not the same as like Aatrox matchup or like Kasante matchup where you feel like they like kind of outscale you. You're okay with taking this as Uder. 16 CS, he'll base on probably cloth armor, refillable. TP back. Oh, he went Ruby Crystal. I, I don't really like Ruby Crystal here. I think that... um. Health just doesn't have much value on Udyr. Because um, you have so much effective HP with your W and your like double W and all this type of stuff that you'd rather just have armor to bolster your like infinite health pool because you essentially have an infinite health pool on Udyr because you heal so much when you auto with your W. Your W is up so often. You have double W whenever you trade. Like, the thing that makes Uter so OP is the fact that because he has so much sustain, that sustain equals a ton of effective HP. Yeah, right now. Mask rush on Uter. I mean, haunting guys rush is actually pretty decent on, on Uter. You can sit on haunting guys. I think it's a pretty underrated thing that not enough people do. Still just vertical jungling. Mark spawns on the side of Krako. Well, it didn't spawn on the side of Krako. It actually spawned on the other side, but Krako just waited for to take this crab to guarantee he gets a mark, which is smart. The thing about this is I feel like AL would want to take the grubs, but they're not going to be able to now. Harry's got to make sure he doesn't overtrade here. Because it's vertical jungle, Harry can't take like any really greedy trades. He takes greedy trades, then Renekton and Vyre will have kill angles on him, so. He's just perma weak sided. Start putting points in Q and they think they get outscaled. Like, why would you need, why would you want points in Q? If you think you get outscaled, I mean, one point in Q is good enough. Mark spawns on enemy Gromp. Krako left that up on purpose so that he was able to get the mark off Gromp. Pretty smart Kindred play so far. Smart of Harry. This is a timing where the Renekton W is on cooldown. So what he does here is he uses double W at the timing where Renekton can't punish it by shield breaking and he gets as much sustain as possible. Oh, are we enjoying do we enjoying dom one versus t1 later no i just watch lpl instead i mean i just don't i don't think that like dom one has a chance to beat t1 unfortunately hopefully i'm wrong but generally the way i see lck right now is that no team can beat t1 or genji besides for t1 and genji and I like I've been watching recent Dom Juan matches. I just don't think that they have a chance. I think they're they're gonna get two would mm, Croco. Bro, where was the charm this whole time? By the way, when did he he must have thrown charm in a horrible time? Tang Yuan has flash here. He's gonna have to flash probably. Oh, maybe not. Okay, gets out. This looked like a really sketchy fight for AL. 
，就最后反正感觉一直在等他魅惑呀，我但好像没看到这个技能。嗯，待我再看一下回放啊，我以为他在调整角度放魅惑，可能前面已经放了，因为感觉他这个位置魅惑是不可能能空的呀。哦。Did I? Where Where is the charm, bro? Am I missing something? When did he throw it? I didn't even see it. Yeah, he he threw it at some terrible timing. I mean, he just needed to throw it after Alistar used combo. That's a charm that should be like impossible to miss. I mean, a ton of sums burn from AL side, so overall, it's a really good play for RNG. They get first blood and. They get a ton of sums used, and now they have Vi hitting level 6 with Ari having ult soon, which should be a very positive play for RNG. No flashes on anyone, pretty much. And you have Ari Vi ult up. It'd be good. Uh, the Kindred, is this a common build now? Uh, nope, not really. Generally, people just have been going uh, Kraken into Collector. That's the build that everyone is going in LPL. Kindred, how many stacks? Uh, he should have three stacks. One off Vi, one off Gromp, one off Crab. How much kills does Hope have? Okay, bro. You should probably gamble on games that you actually understand. Or else it's just pure RNG. There's just kiting him, keeping him away. He's denying experience here, but he's going to end up dying for it. Tangyun? Tangyun, you better fucking kill him, by the way. Or you're just giga reported. Oh my god, he's not going to hit it. Oh my god, Tangyun is so reported, bro. He's so insanely reported. Please report him, please report him, please report him, please report him. Report him so fucking hard, man. And now he loses his flash, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. You can't make this up. <laughs> Croco has ult. They can't even fight this, bro. They can't even fight. Good from Croco. Now they can go to Grubs. There he is, the goat. I mean, he's so dead there, man. The fact that Tangyun is such a miserable player that he can't execute that is like... I don't know, bro. It's like, what's the redeem redeemable part about Tangyun? He doesn't even have, like, the rookie excuse anymore. But to be honest, no one gets the rookie excuse in LPL. Which I like, to be honest, bro. I don't like the idea of, like, oh, he's a rookie. Let him play competitive league for five years until he can get, like, get a, get used to it, get the hang of things. Oh, fuck that. Also, Tangyun has the ult here. Should be a fight that AL should be very happy taking. They should know that ult is down and they can just force. The thing is, Rakan is not level six, so... That's the re has this guy hit a charm all game? Has this guy hit a charm yet? Tangyun is going to have ult soon. Uh, they should play to leave. They really should be playing to leave right now. Okay, step in front. Nice from Kale. They have ult. They have Kindred ult. It should be very hard for um, RNG to win this fight. Ooh, Hope is just going on to LWX with his ghost. He's going to force flash here, maybe. Nope, he doesn't force flash. LWX is forced to ghost, though. Three kills all to Shanks. Yeah, I mean, Tangyuan's been playing for over a year now. Competitively. And he's still not looked good yet. Oh, Breed just briefed his ult. Didn't get the stun on Harry. Harry will win out from this point. Okay, second Drake for AL. And they get the grub. 
So AO ha is coming off some pretty bad losses, by the way. You guys want context for the series. The reason why I think people thought this would be close is because AO recently, um, they were 7-3, and three, and they recently lost to uh, IG, but then the bad loss was to RA. So, people are not sold on AL. RNG looks horrible. I mean, they're pretty terrible, bro. Like, not only is RNG 2 and 9, but they have by far the lowest win percent. Well, I guess I can't say by far, but they have the lowest win percentage in LPL right now. They're 6 wins, 20 losses. So, even though they've won a couple series, like, they normally are getting 2 0 They're getting their asses beat right now by everyone. AL所有人撤得好快，这牛头开大直接所有人润了，大家伙都有位移啊，锁的时候队没有位移的香克斯，但是哦，而且KR这波是帮他挡了那个擎，很关键，嗯，擎到香克斯的话，确实有机会把这
Frozen Heart completed now for Udir. He has no MR though. It's weird, right? Because you'd want to buy a Negatron now with Udir, but because you have bought these items, I guess you just sell your refillable for it. It just feels very weird that you're sitting on, like, the Ruby Crystal so long. Instead of just going for, like, armor earlier. And then build MR. You have enough health on this champion, especially with health per level runes. Trying to go into Kale here. Does not look like it'll be good. Okay, Croco. Okay, maybe it is good. What the hell? Making these positive plays. Okay, RG, they're kind of back at it. That was a massive shield, by the way, from Karma. He just need to group up. Ale keeps on getting caught. I mean, that's the strength of RNG comp, is they have pretty good pick. Viari is always a really good pick. How's the LCK game going? Let me check it on second monitor. Wait, HLE, it's 20 to 2, bro. What the fuck happened? 20 to 2 in kill score? Holy fuck. It's close, smiley face. Thresh happened. It's just a thresh gap. The light is just the goat thresh. Jinx is caught. Holy fuck. RNG, they're doing it. Wait, RNG just literally got like four picks in a row. A huge shutdown they just got too. On to breathe. Wait, RNG is just going to win this game or what? Wait, they're actually just gonna win. I mean, RNG literally just got completely back into it. Oh shit, the owl is back. The owl is back, bro. Yeah,扫描去排演的也会比较少见啊。对的，你们大家带蓝眼睛比较多。那这波打完，感觉安吉是把这个前期的劣势给稳住了。现在经济差不太多，然后小火龙能在中路安稳发育。而且前面刚想
They're all dead. They're all dead. Smolder time. Smolder time. It's Smolder time. They don't need to do Baron here. They could. They're not forced to. Yeah, I mean, I think they can just deny Drake. Try to take mid turret. Like, the game extending is good for them. Shanks is TP. It is karma. Karma is like pretty annoying to deal with here. Keep the game extending, bro. You're chilling. Well played by Kale here, but Ming ended up getting the engage, and as soon as they have to Kindred ult like this, I mean, uh, Kindred ulting when you're playing for Smolder is so bad because everyone's just in execute range immediately afterwards. Dude, Smolder is such a stupid champion. I'm so sick of watching this champion, and we have to watch it for like another like four weeks at least. Well, maybe not four weeks. We have 14.5 after this, and then 14.6 is the patch that gets nerfed on. So at least another three weeks. Coco这个韧性这么高吗？被魅惑到了，一下子就解掉了。So, yeah, RNG is going to win this game 100%, bro. How could they lose? If Swolder. Why do teams let Smolder through? Because they feel like they can so smolder just becomes good at like 21 22 minutes just kind of useless before that and they just think that they can get enough of a lead by that time that they can win and generally they're trading it for other stuff like they they trade it for op champs right so here you get karma which is considered really op and then you just answer the smolder with zeri and hope that you can kind of scale but it worked in game one it's mainly because RNG got so far behind. They're just doing the same play again that's going to fail again. The goal here is to get out the um, RATP, but they're going to lose mid turret off of it. Harry just used double E to try to get to mid. I don't end up losing the turret. Yeah, Smolder is just one-shotting Croco behind everyone. I don't know what this build is, by the way, on, um, on the... Kindred, he he rushed a Dirk and then he went into Eclipse items and then he went Kraken. No one knows what's going on, bro. Who's the worst player on RNG? I mean, the, over the course of the whole split, probably LWX. Anguin's also been pretty bad. How did you get into watching LPL? Was it just after watching it perform well at Worlds years ago? Or did you like a certain player? Uh, I got into LPL because I had a Chinese coach. I had a Chinese coach from China when I was a pro player. And yeah. He was really into LPL. Showed me a lot of LPL stuff. So I started watching LPL. It's like 2015. Mm. End of 2014. This城市也很高 all right, this is the only way they can win, bro. They have to try to turn this into a Baron, but it's like... Ah, they can't, can't they even Baron here. They have to do. They, they, they have to. They just have to just finish it. They just have to play to finish. 
Okay, they got it. They should be looking to run here, I think. Okay, Croco ulted. Breathe is so strong here. Ah, uh, man, I, I don't think they can. Oh my god, Hope. Oh my god, Hope killed him. Hope killed the Ari there. Holy fuck. Wait, Hope is... He's kind of a beast, but the smolder is smoldering. Nah, no way. No way they can win this game, bro. That's such a criminal way to get back into it. Well, why are we not killing that wave top? I would do it 100%. I mean, Wei just got caught by himself at Baron. It's really, really criminal. But yeah, this is like four v five right now. I mean, Shanks. I don't know, Shanks. Zanya because the Redacted looked at him. I mean, here hopes somehow snipe Tangyuan. I mean, Tangyuan should never die there. He's got like max range Zeri W'd. And then Krak was able to kill the smolder. No way, bro. No way. We're getting another. Okay. No kindred ult. Oh, flash in. One shot the Zeri. They still win. Movement from Shanks. Oh, executed. Nice, bro. Four kills for Smolder. Hell yeah, brother. I mean, Krako has no ult here. They should just have played way safer until Kindred has ult. Flash right onto Zeri's forehead. Zeri gets killed, then the fight is over. And you talk shit about LWX man is performing? Yep, he's performing. Bro, that should just tell you how broken Smolder is. LWX is performing on it. That should just be what, what tells you, yeah. No, it's just... It's Giga. Did you still bro get him? I'm trying to use it in jungle instead of top, using your runes and items. I mean, I, I don't know if it's like broken, but it's definitely good. Like you can definitely climb easy challenger with it. I mean, to be fair, like if I mean, you can pretty much climb challenger with anything, but like, yeah. If you're playing Uder and you are stuck, it's definitely not because of the champion. You can say that. Just have to get better at the champion. AL will, will find the way to lose this with four dragons. I mean, even if AL gets soul, they're still behind in game state. They're playing versus like a, a smolder late game and they're... Yeah, they're just not ahead, so... It's not like if AL gets... Soul here, it's like... How did they find a way to lose? Like, the framing of that argument is just so... Or the framing of that comment is so off. Like, they should lose. 
Soul does not change the fact that enemy team has a smolder with 378 stacks in 32 minutes. Mm. 这波将是大小龙同时在场，而且这个小龙是 AL 的风龙龙魂。呃，这个风龙龙魂感觉没有大龙重要，是吧？而且RNG也不会给你，我说实话。RNG现在就是你要打什么，我直接给你打架。Outsold for Baron trade. I mean, RNG should be willing to. I mean, they should. RNG should be the ones that dictate where AL go. They shouldn't have to trade here, though. They should be able to force AL to make a bad decision. Because they just walk up mid and then LWX does this on repeat. And the game is lost. Look at the range on the AoE here. Look at that. How is that okay? RNG hard committed towards Baron here. Didn't Ma Q didn't hit. <laughs> Renekton's flanking. They're gonna look for Shanks. Okay, they go for Krako. Krako's gonna be able to ult here, though. Oh, Shanks is dead. GG. GG. How can win? They don't want to just go and, um... Give soul for free here, though. Oh, it's so stupid, man. Game is so broken. Use this my charge here. I mean, maybe they can actually contest it. I think they can actually contest the Baron. Because they have TP on Shanks. I think Shanks TP's mid here. I mean, I don't know. It's not an easy contest, but you have to like contest it. It's actually kind of playable. Okay. I mean, they did the most. They did what they could. You know what, bro? It is what it is. We got smoldered. Just banned it for game three. Erenek didn't still have flash. He just flashed on Krako's forehead. Go back to Baron, no? Yeah, Baron. Just breathe, not die there. Uh, I mean, Udir doesn't do much damage. Karma doesn't do much damage either at this point. Ale is just so dog shit. I mean, I don't know if Ale is so dog shit. I think they just got smoldered in this game. Like they, they didn't progress the game as well as they could, but... I don't know. Like, you make, like, one mistake, it's smolder, you just lose the whole game. What a league of match fixers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that this game is fixed, but... If the games are fixed, then you should be able to, like, easily predict them, right? Feels like everyone just knows which games are fixed, but they just don't, like... Make millions off of it for some reason. Mm, I think it's smolder have? It doesn't matter. 400, 450. Oh, mm. mm. I love playing Smolder, but hate watching him. Yeah. I mean, most people that are like, 
Of course, like, you would love to play a champion that's giga broken, right? I love playing broken shit, too. I mean, the question that remains here is does Smolder get a Penta or not? That's the only question left. It's a foregone conclusion that RNG is going to win the game, but does Smolder get a Penta here to end the game? Ifa smolder stacks check where i literally told you it was 450 one a minute ago like what is this obsession with like smolder stacks people have uh, people are so obsessed with smolder stacks like the break point is 225 once you have over 225 like it doesn't matter if you have 450 it's like oh man he stacked one more wave since one minute ago he's at 460 now oh shit like 460 stacks shit doesn't matter bro uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could also go engage with Smolder. I mean, there's just like the, like, out poking a Smolder. Like, Smolder pokes for the whole team by himself. Ail should probably be willing to, like, give this and go down mid if they can. Probably just leverage the mid wave. RNG is chilling though, they have a bot wave pushing in. Super minion bot wave. I just think it's unfightable for um, AL at this point. I know X is literally frontlining with GA. He's just going into them. Oh, that's an execute. Oh, never mind. He's on yet. It doesn't matter. He's still executed. I just flap it on him. Uh, only two kills, bro. They all went in different directions. It won't be a penna. <laughs> Another win for Smolder, bro. I mean, AO defeated it in the first game. This game, they just like stalled out a little too long, and Smolder just one v died the game later on. It's so dumb, bro. LPL match fix. Wait, do people say this about other leagues or is it just LPL? Good Wait, are they playing live yet? Are they playing live yet for uh, LCK? Or is it still DDoS? Bro, what, what type of creepy shit is going on here? What the hell is that guy wearing? Crazy. All right, I will be right back. Play the ads and be right back. Just Chinese dogs. Okay. Yeah, we got racism in the chat as well. Perfect.
就是我再讲讲我的观点，我本来会觉得，哎，好像呃，双射手在搭配卡尔玛是不是跟这个斯莫德有一战之力？但发现不行，最大的原因我觉得还是跟这个前排的数量有关。嗯，就是一边是污点，大家可以越过你污点，因为你污点实际上你只能简单的吃吃伤害，你在后期是威胁不到我的，你没有什么伤害的。对。而反观我的鳄鱼、牛头，连控制带输出都有，再加上一个能够锁头的位，这三个。半坦型或者说坦克型的这这这种英雄，对你的后排的这种蜕皮，呃，可以快速的把你阵型搅乱。就这把团战会发现林伟翔这个小火龙就是输出环境非常好，是就没有人管得了他。他打完打完团一直都是满血，哇，图爽啊！太猛了呀！而且之前 RNG 说啊，一改之前不用小火龙的这个这个短处啊，这场比赛 BO3 打到现在已经两局小火龙了，思路是没问题的，我觉得。而且这个版本的比赛。看下来，小火龙这个英雄真的，你很容易就叠满，嗯，因为大家都会失误，你小火龙这边只要对面失误一波，你就一定能等到你的发力切。是，这场怎么说？呃，我想给鳄鱼，虽然说这把，我跟我跟你说我的想法，小火龙数据很好、就是，就是你给的任何一个，我都帮你分一票给另外一个人。好，<笑>那我给鳄鱼，没问题，因为我觉得鳄鱼这把打团真的有点猛了。嗯，是的。我们这盘就是鳄鱼和林伟翔一人一票啊，就是你给任任何一个我都会帮你分分给另外一个，没问题。对，因为他俩这场比赛我觉得是一个输出，一个在团战当中翻江刀还是不分伯仲的。对的，嗯，一个给到了关键的后排切入控制嘛，一个是给到了很多的伤害。是，我、哦、的天，哇，呼吸哥啊，这盘这个鳄鱼到后面这。瞬间就把对方给搅翻。他这个出装也是有理解的，搞了个亵渎九头蛇，玩的像剑魔一样，<笑>还蛮少见的。是我打排位还没怎么见过这个鳄鱼出这个装备，伤害确实高，这么出。而且后排是真遭不住啊，他每次进场你看这波啊，这、哦、两个一进来直接逼你开大，然后阵型直接烂掉 A L， 就又肉又有输出，真的恐怖这鳄鱼。怎么小薇是一波比较大的失误，但是这波打完之后 ，A L 也失误了。对，这波其实 And we are back 是呃零换 one hundred and thirty five percent damage to gold ratio. Yep, nice champion, bro. 这就虽然说倒掉小薇，但是因为大家伙都太脆了，大龙坑里面的阵型也不会保持的很好。杨磊身体第一时间开出来之后，这就是到了 Even Magramma could play Smolder. Max. 其其实可以看到，就是没有输出环境的小火龙，也不厉害。Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It seems so stupid. 呼吸哥绕后的一波啊。对。哦，地图的正下方。Champion seems so stupid. 鳄鱼，哎呀，这谁受得了啊？直接闪现咬住你，把后补给秒掉。那呼吸哥这鳄鱼蛮有想法的。嗯，老喜欢绕。对，怪绕要做事的，把在绕。打到这时候，小火龙已经开始发力了。你可以看到，就是 Smolders flapping。上来的时候，小火龙太爽了，在后面猛喷，一直满血。哎，千珏开大其实挺怕小火龙的，你所有人都。集结在一个圈里的话，小火龙这个 Q 很容易就把你所有人都 Q 到，一个 A O E 伤害直接打死。<笑>最后就是 A L 千珏没有大招的情况下，呼吸哥。I think about Smolders it just looks so unskilled at the same time. Like not only is it just objectively broken, but it also just looks mega unskilled. I'm just watching him just walking around and like Q auto attack. Like there's like no like kiting. There's no mechanics. Like watch this fight from him. Okay. Q. He's not even having to like auto reset or anything. Autos again. Q. Laps over here. Auto. Oh wait, that was just a Q. That was just another Q. He's not even like auto queuing or something or like you know auto attack resetting. Just like there's no mechanics needed for it. 中期包找事情做的话，其实有点像 RNG 之前有一场比赛
Hit the last four champions, right released. Let me see, what is right released? What are all four champions? It's Wei, Smolder, Briar, Nefiri. I mean, I don't mind uh, Nefiri. I don't mind Huey either. And Briar, I think, is just kind of bad. Just a mediocre champion. Oh, they really only released? They've only released five champions in the last, like, year and a half? Huh. Feels like they've released more than that, but I guess not. When did they, when did they release a lot of champions? 2020 had set, and then they didn't release a champion for over six months until Lilia. Twenty twenty one there was four champions released. Twenty twenty two there was four champions released. Five champions released. Zeri, Renata, Belveth, Nyla, Cassante. Then Milio was released in twenty twenty three. There's four released in twenty twenty three. Uh, this champs are some well. I mean, I think the design of like, I, I like Vex as a champion. I like people were, I saw people complaining about Akshad. I actually really like Akshad's design. I feel like it's a pretty cool champion. I like Rel, I like Viego, I like Gwen, Akshan, I like Vex, don't like Zeri, I like Granada, I like uh, Nyla, don't like Asante, don't, I mean, I like Belveth, but I just think it's been broken for way too long, I think Milio's pretty fair, I think Nefiri's fine, Huey is fine, Briar's just kind of bad design, I don't really like Briar. Briar ever be meta in pro play? Probably not. Not unless it fundamentally changes. Just such a weird champion to play. Like, loss of control of your champion in a pro game? Generally pretty bad, bro. Oppo Best champion releases 2020 in my opinion. Oh wait, we can do call the game. Hold on, we've got the LEC pop quiz as well. Next, we're gonna do call the game. Or how much time do we have? We don't have time for it right now, do we? Oh shit, there's content, boys. Content opportunities. You got an EDG versus Weibo?
Hello， 亲爱的各位召唤师，欢迎回来。您正在收看的是二零二四英雄联盟职业联赛春季赛，目前正在进行的是 RNG 对阵 AL 的比赛，双方目前一比一战平。在第一局比赛当中 ，AL 上来状态火热。Day forty one of LPL, bro. LPL has been a grind. RNG 这边 BP 上增强了，上中野的强度拖到。Yeah, after this, bro. There's only like after this week. I mean, there's essentially only two weeks left of LPL. Two weeks of LPL, and then we get into playoffs, bro. Playoffs will probably. I mean, normally playoffs happens like immediately in LPL too. They do like one day break, boom, into playoffs. 有点太适合现在的 RNG 了，嗯，就他们好喜欢打架，是。那打架那什么英雄厉害？上路最强的就是鳄鱼，而且他们呼吸哥是非常喜欢做事情的。对，呼吸哥他觉得就是如果你 Dude, tomorrow we get top esports uh versus JDG,、嗯、get a fucking banger。四十分五十分的表现，但你给他鳄鱼真的是九十分一百分的表现，找他很敢打，很敢换血。对，就你 speak any Chinese, Dom must have picked some up after all the watching. Yeah, the fact that I watched LPL in English broadcast. Cast for like two years made me pick up Chinese. That's that's an intelligent thing to say. That's how it works. Uh, uh, yeah, Chinese. 鳄鱼狐狸位是吧？它是这种阵容，就是控制更多，你打小团就更好赢，更容易接技能。你得冲起来才能威胁到 C 位。对，嗯，但其实。You really don't know any at all. This time, it's been a while. Because this hero came out for a long time, and Andy has never taken this system. The main thing is that you don't know. Yeah, I mean, you don't really pick up Chinese from listening to a broadcast in English for years. Big surprise. YouTube is second class viewers. I mean, bro, I have the YouTube chat open. Okay, Volibear banned again into Croco. Well, not again, but Volibear banned into Croco. Smolder is up. First pick the Smolder. There it is. We're not banning Smolder, but things up to answer it with. I don't know, bro. I just feel like you just don't give it over. Like you really care about Jax, bro. Jax in this iteration of the game, bro. Do you care about Jax over Smolder? Come on, man. Just because Elderbex is bad, I feel like you shouldn't disrespect the Smolder champ. Hey, ADTF. See who it's played by. Is it gonna be played by Hope? All right, what is the the play for RNG? Do they just run REVI? I thought they might just run REVI do the same thing. They go Zin. They probably don't want to go Ari though. Way. Mm. I mean, I could see it, but I feel like they're pretty susceptible to this TF now. So is Harry just gonna play the? Is Harry just gonna play the TF, or what's happening here? Oh, Ari is banned. Yeah. Okay, so we have. I would take Leeson over Viego, bro. I think Viego is pretty sus. Like Leeson pick. So we banning Nautilus, or what are we banning here? Might just ban top laners. Okay, so there's the Yasuo ban. Means that the TF is probably going top. What else do they ban? Yasuo, do they ban Udyr or do they not care about it? What else could they ban? Camille, maybe? That's something that Breathe likes playing or has liked playing in the past. RNG. 
Probably want to ban forms of engage. Senna. Okay, so it makes Senna Nautilus weaker. I bit the house on RNG. I don't know, bro. See how it shapes up. Connected ban. I mean, I've seen people play Aatrox into ADTF. And they've been able to like get through lane, so that's another one that Breathe plays. The loss streak ends now? Yeah, maybe. This would be a horrible loss for AL, though. If, they, if AL lose this game, that means that they have played against RA, RNG, which should have been two layups, and they lose both. They actually have like some hard games left. They have some hard games left. I believe they, do they still have to play against top esports? Who does AL have left? They have to play against JDG, top esports, and LNG. Those are our last three. They can lose them all. Nautilus. Okay. Kaisa banned. What is the pick going to be from, from uh, Hope? It'd be Camille, like we said. Alistar again. Will it end up being Camille? I think they can also just go Udyr here. I think Udyr is pretty nice. Let's play straight front to back, have a tank. Let your smolder poke and scale. There's a Camille. Okay, we talked about it. And what is the final pick? Is it just Zeri? I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's looking kind of sketchy. Well, it's beatable. It could. I mean, it's definitely beatable. I just don't really like the the angle that they took. They gave Smolder again. It feels like they didn't get much for it. They got like OP ADTF, but relying on Harry carrying the game to breathe, I think it's just tough. Maybe he just one benigns it. You got like ADTF more as like a mid lane champion than as a top lane champ. Just generally. Like top lane, there's a lot of better matchups into melees, but I think that mid lane, like you can get through a lot of matchups and then you can port to both sides, which is like always been the strength of TF is being able to gank both lanes. Whereas if you're playing top lane ADTF, you can only port to your lane or mid. Tank Karma angle? I don't know. Tank Karma. Fuck no. Into Huey? I mean, you go Tank Karma when you're playing versus like melee champs that can never kill you. But going Tank Karma into Huey is crazy to me. Shuang do they have a contract that makes it so they can't ban Smolder? 
Yeah, that's what's happening. Contract. Yeah, Okay. Let's see if they're able to actually get through. Get through the, the game versus Smolder. It looks to me like RG is going to win, bro. I hate to say it, but it looks to me like RG is going to win. I hope I'm wrong, because RG can't really do anything anyway. Like, they're pretty much already eliminated. Even if they go on a demon run and they win their next four series after this one, still probably will not make it because their game score will be so shit compared to the 7 and 9 teams. Walk up and auto with W? Based? Dude, how is Harry missing so much CS? How did he only get... How, how did he only get one out of the first two waves? What the fuck? It's 80 TF, he only got one out of the first two waves. I mean, he's chunking breathe pretty heavily now. Wait, he missed another one. He's missing so much CS. Damn. Wei's, uh, Wei's coming up here. Should be pretty hard to kill him unless he giga ends. Yeah, he just ghosts. Mm, lagging a little bit. He gets a base off here. I, I mean, I don't feel like he's doing as well as he should be, though. Down in CS versus Camille as TF is crazy. Rocco full clears. Pretty hard to dive top here. They should just take crab. And they're both standing on wards. Or, well, I mean, Wei's, Wei's not on a ward, but yeah, they're standing on wards here. Rocco is standing on wards. Damn. Okay. Wei's moving up. Guys is dead. Maybe he can make it out. Shanks and maybe going to Wei. Okay. We got a scrap. Oh, he didn't get it. Hangyun has flash. Shanks going to breathe or no? Ah, uh, they just exit. I mean, overall, it's pretty good for RNG, I would say, based off the state of top wave. Wait, actually, let me see top wave. No, never mind, it's fine. It's fine for both, I guess. He actually lost a lot of experience like, because of just the way that the wave was. He ended up losing almost an entire wave top. Now the TF has Ninja Tabby. We'll see how that works. Here, Crocker was afraid to take his Q. Like, he couldn't take his Q because uh, he thought Breathe was just gonna E over the wall, like E flash. I guess Harry played this well. I'm surprised he actually has points in Q. Normally, ADTF top, you just go full, like, zero points in Q. If he picked gold on the first time and put it on Tango, and maybe they could win. Wave not flashing there to finish his criminal. I mean, he can't flash to finish there, by the way. He didn't have his E up. Mm. 
把安吉 ADC 过得很舒服。现在直接二连开，造型也在。我想是 KO here。被迫交闪，胡西哥有六，而可以盖。Who chaos is dead? I mean, if the game is going like this, doesn't RNG just win because they have smolder? Like if they're not getting a lead top, I don't know. I feel like smolder is just even farming, and it's just gonna end up being broken again. But maybe I'm delusional about this champ. Maybe I'm just traumatized from too much smolder games. Too many smolder games. Hushi哥六级 I mean, also, I feel like the comp from RNG, I mean, it's really hard to carry this game as Zeri. You end up playing into a Camille that can lock you down. Zin is hard to damage. Alistar is hard to damage. The Hui abilities will be in your face. I don't know, bro. It's not a huge fan of leaving Smolder up. Like, dude, I think Varus is broken, but I don't think Varus has close to the same amount of, like, pressure that, you, that it puts in the game as a Smolder. Like, the amount of anxiety you must feel in a pro game playing against a Smolder is unreal. So the whole time you're like, okay, if we make one mistake, the game's over. If we make one mistake, we just lose. Gotta be crazy. Okay, Harry might just be dead. See the gold card? He holds it. He's throwing it onto Wei. Okay. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. This TF pick seems so fake. TF like top. <笑>肯定。呃，其实你看，Harry刚才已经很细节了，他避免被海克斯最后终结在空中吃掉那个黄牌，他就等你落地给黄牌。对，呃，但是没办法呀，细节做到位还是要死呀。没闪就是要死。
Perma, and then the TF can't really play the game. I feel like ideally you'd want to find spots for TF to go mid, because then you can make more use of the ulti. When we saw it mid from Angel, it looked really OP. Are YouTube stream with so many Koreans? I haven't seen that many Koreans in my YouTube stream. Oh, now it has a ton of Koreans. Wait, when did it become a million Koreans? Okay, I guess. It was all English before. Alright, now they're ganking the Camille. Okay. Port on to way. Pretty nice. Trying to go on to EF here. Keep on fighting. Shanks is strong here. Keep on fighting. Oh, Shanks with the flash. I don't know about that one. That flash did not look good to me. Do they stay or what are they doing? Camille has CP. They should not stay. We got a scrap. Say something in Korean, Dom. I mean, I the old, the Koreans I knew were Piglet and Phoenix. So all I know how to say is like Gesegi and yeah, and just like other swears. Yongshin. That's all I know, bro. <laughs> Shiba Sekia. Oh my god. Brief? Bro, they are scrap. Like, everyone is top, and Zarya and Smolder are just free farming bot. They've literally just been on top lane for 20 minutes. This is crazy to watch. <笑><笑><笑> No need to pressure the smolder, he doesn't scale, yeah. I mean, the Camille will be behind, I guess. Who carries harder? The Shiv Zeri or the smolder? You know what I think is so broken about this game, guys? Is the fact that in terms of game circumstance, you could argue that RNG is ahead because of how broken smolder is and how well it scales. But look at the shutdowns on AL. Like AL is the... the are, like are the players that have the shutdowns so zeri is sitting on 150 gold shutdown being 15 16 cs up on a smolder but the smolder is actually in a better position for the game than the zeri like that's the one thing i hate about bount bounties is that bounties don't account for scaling at all so in games where like you are supposed to be ahead you get ultra punished for ever making a mistake Natural Daylight does me so good. Yeah, bro, it's been nice to watch LPL in the morning. I woke up like 9.45. Get to like take a shower before I stream. Holy, feels good. Hey, right, LOL is still in beta, true. Hey, TV from Shanks, they're trying to make this play onto LWX. Can we kill the the smolder? He has cleanse. Okay. He cleansed. He almost one tap tear. I guess we're just killing the Alistar. Oh, Hope gets the kill. Nice, nice, nice. We lose our bot turret for this, most likely. Because of the demolish proc. We lose our bot turret. Our mid turret is being pressured. But we killed the Alistar. 
And we got Smolder Cleanse. Surely he won't carry the whole game. You would fix the bounty system? How would you go about it? I mean, I just think that the, the, the gold values are way too high. Like a 600 gold bounty is so fucking broken, by the way. Like when you're 3-0 and you have the 600 gold bounty, if you die, right? Like if you die to somebody, you die three times in lane and then you solo kill them one time. Like, or they just die like trading, trying to dive you or something. The fact that you get two kills worth of gold for one kill, plus you're going to be able to like catch the wave. Like it just deletes the entire advantage, which just seems so broken to me. But I've always been more on the side. I mean, it's also kind of like my play style, the fact that I play jungle. Where I'm more on the side where I feel like you should be rewarded for like playing the game well early. And I just like don't like massive comeback mechanics. Like I think comeback mechanics should exist, but they shouldn't be as big as they are. Like, the comeback experience in the jungle I've always thought was like a stupid concept. Like gold um, bounty is being so high is a dumb concept. I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, it's not even a good drag for AL as well. It's really not a good drag for them. Ugh, so tough. I mean, Smolder by soul point. Smolder will definitely be on 225. And the Smolder has cleanse, so it's pretty hard for TF to be able to, like, really pressure the Smolder. Little crazy, bro. And wait for JDG versus Top Esports tomorrow. Banger series, yeah, it should be a banger. I think Top Esports is favored in my mind, but uh, or in my mind, but should be a good series. Should Gotta crash into mid turn here. Oh, Krako gets speared. They're gonna go on him fully. Oh, Krako just mega inted. Uh oh. We made a mistake versus Smolder. Oh shit. TF doesn't get anything done here. I mean, I also think it's kind of hard for Hope to play. I think the main way that RNG could lose is if they try to like overdive and they leave the smolder out to dry. Like Camille should really not be forced to dive. Camille should just be playing with the team. You don't need to kill Vizari. You just need to make sure the smolder is not dead. That's it. It's good from Tango in here to use the um, eye or whatever. The thing that looks like the eye, that, that fear. What is that, EW? Yeah, using the EW is pretty good. Smolder on 182, bro. They're giving me third Drake because they know that Smolder will guaranteed have the stacks for Soul. And they're getting top tier too. Oh man, RNG is so ahead now. Like Breathe is just getting stacks as well. 700 gold for Breathe. How can AO win? Camille is a problem. I mean, the Camille is going to be able to 1v1 the TF on side at some point. They get mid turn here as well. Bro, AL getting two losses to RNG and RA. Oh my god. That's a horror. That's so tough. That is so tough, man. Only way is Elder UX Megant. 
It's like hard for LWX to mega int as well. Like playing Smolder, you just your playstyle is uh is so basic. I don't think that he will mega int. All you do is you buy your rapid fire, you walk forward, and you cue the front line, and then you walk back. That's it. Okay. Trying to make a play top. There's nothing to be done. Rocco is going to get jumped on in a second. Dude, Smolder's going to... Uh, Smolder's about to be smoldering so hard. Very interactive, yeah. It's really interactive what we're about to see. Dude, and we're getting more tier 2 turrets from... Yeah, more tier 2 turrets for Breathe. Breathe is chilling so hard. He's going to win this? No way. He, he ults? Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay. Stopwatch use, though. He got another tier 2 turret. Like, Breathe is up so much gold. Wait, let me, let me check the gold. So Breathe is up 1k gold, 1.2k gold on Harry, and Harry's probably made close to like 1k off his passive. Breathe is so far ahead. Now he's got a QSS. Dude, this game is so lost. I refuse to believe that AL can win this game. Saying a prayer for AL? I don't know, bro. They're, they need more than a prayer. But how how dumb do you feel if you lose this as AL? You stomp them the first game, and then you leave Smolder up two more times, and then you lose both games. Like, that would like how, how do you feel after that? It's like, oh yeah, I could have just chose to ban that champion. Could have just chosen to ban that champion, and then... We probably just win because we are a better team. Yeah, and Smolder is at 2.25 after this wave. What did they ban instead? They banned Jax. What else did they ban? It's like Jax, like Callista, things like that. All right, in 2.22, he actually stacked that wave so poorly, but whatever. Coming into the fight, that matters. He's going to have rapid fire completed and, um, yeah. And he will have 225. Yeah. Karma won't have, um, yeah, the Karma won't have uh, stopwatch for the fight as well. Rocco's hovering. Okay. I mean, the thing is, even if AO gets Chemtech Soul, it doesn't mean they win the game or anything. It's not even a soul that guarantees you the win. Drop the Ego and, sp and ban Smolder. Yep, that's the play. Okay, they see Kale. Oh, they're looking to fight here. Reed feels really strong. Let's involve the smolder in the play and you win. Ooh, if we hit a mantra Q there on the smolder, maybe like we chunk him enough that he can be threatened by the TF. Looks tough though. Hey, Wei gets chunked. I mean, Karma has to land so many of these Mantra Qs to be able to play the game. Getting poked by Wei. Camille is threatening from bot side. I mean, they'd probably have to full send it on the Camille, but the Camille is QSS, so it's pretty hard to do that. Okay. Get the Zin ult, that's pretty good. Didn't have to ult the gold card there. And Shanks hit another mantra Q onto the back line. Could be the thing that like changes the fight. Okay, they flash onto Karma here. Karma does have flash. 
Who wins the Drake fight? Who wins the Drake fight? Oh, it's not AL. And now the game stalls even more for Smolder. So, yeah. Good luck. Dude, how did my chat become all Korean all of a sudden? It's Korean betting site, no? My, uh, somebody put, might have put my YouTube stream as the, uh, on a Korean betting site. I assume that's what it is. They're not killing this. Breathe can, breathe, breathe can 1v2 this. Okay, they're trying to 1v3. Dude, just go Baron. They're just going to lose Baron. They're just going to lose Baron. They're losing Baron to kill the Camille. That's a good trade. Pretty fucking nice from Breathe there, actually. Oh, Breathe is a monster. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so tough to watch. God damn, it's tough to watch. Hey, no way. Ain't no way, bro. That man Ale are tragic. Yep, they're pretty tragic. Oh shit, boys. Oh shit. We had playoffs right there. If we just clicked on a smolder ban. But we had ego. I mean, they still probably end up making playoffs. But it's close, bro. It's, I mean, it's not guaranteed by any means, but they still probably can make it. Depends on, on um, LNG Weibo. If they're able to get to seven wins. Because the thing about AL is their, their, um, their plus minus is also really bad. Ooh, the, the more I look at it, wait, it might actually be really tough for them. Because their plus minus is bad and they're playing against teams that are better than them. Plus minus is like game score. So even though Weibo is five and six, Weibo is plus one game score. LG is minus two, but LG has a series that they should win coming up, whereas AL should be losing the series that they're playing. Who just left? I mean, they were trying to contest the Baron, but it didn't end up happening. Imagine you go from 7 3 game score to 7 9 and you miss playoffs. Just imagine. How would you feel? Derry has no E, has to walk all the way around. Camille TB bot, forced TF to ulti out. Okay. Down 3k gold versus Smolder. Rocco? Is this the play, bro? It's not. One for one. Leeson for the support. Drake in one minute. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Looks pretty fucked up to me, man. Okay, guys, we can clear this. We have double shiv. Drake at 30 seconds, you don't even feel like you can contest at this point. I mean, all right, you have a uh, BT completed on the Zeri. They're going to give and they're going to play for topside here. So they're giving Drake here. We're on soul point. We can't even fight Drake. Yeah, we can win the game. We can win the game, guys. We are just giving Drake's. 
Even though we're on soul point, we're the team on soul point, but we're giving because we feel like we're that weak. Smolder is almost four items once again. The classic. <laughs> I breathe is no TP right now, though. Breathe is no TP. They're going to try to force. They have to try to force, right? If they don't try to force here, then we can never win. Good um, spell from Huey. Good W from Huey. Give me the move speed to Alistar so Alistar isn't forced to ult or flash or anything. Yeah, Harry now has ult again. Wait, what is he building with that phage? Wait, what is he actually building? Huh? No more LWX Kaisa main. He is already a smolder main. I mean, bro, being a smolder main, what does that mean? Rivalrous Holebreaker stack. None of these sound like items I want him to build, bro. None of these items sound like what you'd actually build here. But I guess I guess he's just so fucked. There's like nothing he can build. It's excellent Smolder, 332, but it just doesn't matter. People need to stop asking about Smolder stacks as if they're like Kindred stacks or I don't know, like Vagar stacks or whatever. Like, pretty irrelevant. Watch some T1 Domwon after the series? Probably not. I don't like watching, like, I, I think Domwon just can't be T1. I mean, maybe I'll be wrong, but I just feel like Domwon is just not in the same class as T1. Breathe is splitting bot, bro. Breathe is splitting bot. They're going to lose the game here. Breathe is going to take the entire fucking turret. They're trying to rush down the Baron. I don't know, bro. I guess they have to do this. I guess they have to do this. We'll breathe TP in. Hey, they get it. How many people can live? Breathe is trying to end the game. Karma's TPing back. Karma got out. No, Karma didn't get out. Leeson's here. I mean, they got Baron. At the end of the day, that's not bad. Can you kick him back? Oh, clean. Clean from Kroko. Kicked him out of his E. Oh, but he missed that. Where's the card, Harry? Good war jump, too. Okay, not bad from Kroko. Not bad. What's happening here? Karma's dead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Oh, never mind. T1 just was going to lose game one. Eh, maybe I should have watched that. It was really good timing on the kick from Croco here, though. Really well played. Oh, the way. The way. Spell. Why did he go this way, bro? Why did he go this way, bro? Why did he go this way? I know Hui TP bottom, but he should have just kept on. He should have just went up. I guess he thought Hui was going to cut him off. And he thought if he did this, they wouldn't expect it and they would be like trying to cut him off deep. But he was actually spotted by a ward. Wait, T1 losing? Wait, did Kedro move? Oh, 
I mean, they, they somehow need a Lee Sin kick onto LWX. I don't know how it's possible, but they need it. Soul in 19 for them. TF has ult. Camille has TP. Can Camille solo dive the TF is the question. With Starax, I mean, I think it's possible. QSF Starax. I don't know if TF can hold this, bro. I don't think TF can hold it. He'll die, right? They're giving it again, bro. They're giving it again. Oh, he's back in the UK? Oh, shit. USS? I mean, I don't know, bro. They're getting out macro. How do they play? How do they play? How do they play? Zeus got solo killed by King. I mean, the matchup is pretty bad, to be fair. The matchup is pretty damn bad. But also, when it matters, isn't King just Zeus's father? And by when it matters, I mean one best of five, but we'll just use the narrative. I don't know, they can't deal with the Camille split. That's the main problem with the AL right now, is the Camille splitting, and every single time Camille gets anywhere close to their base, they can't just hold it solo with TF. They need to bring the Karma as well. And if you look at the items from the Camille, the Camille is six item. Sterax, GA, very easy for him to dive turret. I mean, I think... TF probably needs to build like a, a stopwatch or a Zanyas or something. I mean, one fight, this game ends. Both teams have 70k gold. Six items on everyone. The Zeri decided to go Runans over PD here. Not sure if that will actually matter. Zhao 哎呀,這邊得看一下後部打團能不能拉扯起來。Mulder dead after 14-5? 14-6 is it dead? We'll see. Oh, Harry's is getting one shot. How can play? How can play? How can play? How can play, bro? They just have to wave clear until he's up again, but man, it just looks so doomed. Oh, they're trying to go in? Nah, they're losing the game here. Nah, he flashes to the wall, they're losing the game. Is the game over? What a sad way to lose. Oh, Zeri ulted too? And they cleared the wave. I mean, they're going to lose two in hips here. 21 on Harry. I think they just end, no? See, can they get this wave? Can they clear this wave at all? They didn't get on to Hope. Game's over, GG. Bro, it's so depressing, actually. It's so depressing. They just lost like this, bro. Like, oh my god, it's so depressing. Oh. <sighs>
Smolder gap. Yeah, dude, we just gotta pick Kasate for Harry every single time it's up. Alright, I wanna do this pop quiz. Let's do this pop quiz and then we'll get into the next LPL series. Game. I'm gonna show you screenshots from broadcast of a game that was played in the past in pro play. I need to know the event, the year it was played in, the teams, and the player names. Player names like ten player names. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I can know. I can know that for sure. <laughs> and then if you don't know, I can show you more pictures. And sometimes the pictures say. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay show nice. more. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All of the game. First one. MF Sport. Okay. So this is. MF support. So this is. Wait. So this is. In North America. This is season six. Rocks Tigers versus. P1. Or is it Rocks Tigers versus Samsung? I think it's Rocks T1. Or SKT. That's Gorilla Prey. Gorilla Prey. Kuro. Peanut. And Smeb. Versus T1. And T1, SKT, is playing with Duke. Wait, is it blank here? Or is it... Is it blank here? Or is it Pengi? I'm gonna go Faker. Okay, so it's Faker. Bang and Wolf. It's is it Bengi? Or... I think it's Bengi at this point. Or I think it's on um, blank at this point. I think Bengi it's comes in later in the time, series. Um. Okay. First game. I have no idea. But this has to be like LEC finals. LCK. I mean, it's weird because it's MF support. But I know. I okay, I know someone played MF support, but I don't know like when, where, who. I don't know anything. I mean, it's worlds. The year could be 2015. My mind is going 2016. to like 2017. I think 2016. I'm sure one of the teams is SKT. The other one. Okay. It's T1 against, I don't know, EDG. Wait, it's two Something. points for uh, team names, two points for event, one point for each player. Genji or? Yeah. So I got full points like here, right? like a tiger team or something like this? Mm -hmm. Like cool tigers? So I got Max 26 tigers. points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh, Sorry, 16 T1 points. Wolf, Bang, Faker. And jungle was two jungle. Bengi and Blank. Mm. Oh, you, oh, you could just say Bengi and Blank? Okay, I got Blank though. And the top I feel like that's harder, no? Marin. Huni. Aiko. Ah. Duke. Oh, yeah, Duke. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Duke was teleporting here. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's the, it's the arrow. Look at the arrow. This, like... Bro, if I miss this, I'm gonna get flamed for my entire life. I'm trying to, to at least name the Miss Fortune. A gorilla? But I'm between, like... Two AD carries. It's it's ruler. No. Like that. There's something on my tongue. Like people used to always. Was it like something with P? I think. The gorilla and. It's deft. Oh prey. It's Smeb, Pinut, Kurel, Prey, Gorilla. Smeb. Oh my God. I love Smeb. Can't believe I forgot him. All right. Next. All right. Uh. Next. This was MSI. So this is MSI upper bracket finals with ruler missing night. I mean, just the lineups from last year. Uh, three six nine Kanavi playing against Zeus. Uh, Zeus, yeah, owner Faker Guma Caria, right? Uh, this is. MSI it, last last year, 2023 upper bracket. T1 versus JDG. Like, safe to say that's uh, Doombie? Because, like, who else played Nautilus Mitch, right? And there is a Worlds logo, so it is Worlds. Oh, this is uh, MSI. 
What was the MSI in like 2000? Wait, there's a world's logo? No. 20? 2021? No. I don't think so. I think it's 2023. MSI 2023. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trolling. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. It's Nautilus Mid. I think Nautilus is Caps. It's G2? It was G2, I think, against BLG. GDG Defy 369. I mean, I'm guessing JDG is playing, no? Okay, 369 is. So it's JD. Jingdong Gaming? But who has played Nautilus Mid? And who, How the hell who can you remember every draft ever so crazy? <laughs> I mean, these are really, really, really famous drafts. These are not like super niche ones. Like if you if you hit me with like a fucking 2017 like shitter match in LEC, I would never know it. Uh, I give up. Uh, next, these are next just super, super down. easy ones. JVG. Giga easy. D1. So it's fake or not it is. And then T1 these is are like some of the now, most hype so matchups ever choose. played. Owner, Faker, Gumayushi, Keria. Right side, JDG is um, 369. Kanavi, Knight, Ruler. What was the support? It's Ruler and it's Ruler and it's Ruler and... Oh my god! I'm missing? Missing, yeah! And JDG missing, JDG missing. It's easier when I say JDG actually, JDG missing. Okay, next one. I was looking. What the fuck is this, bro? Bro, I can't even see what this is. Bro, am I supposed to be able to zoom in? Like, what the fuck is this, bro? You didn't show me a draft or anything? You're showing me a fucking clip? Is that Fnatic versus Rogue? It looks like Malma. 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 But how do I know if it's Fnatic or G2 versus Rogue? Because it could be the semifinals as well. Bro, what the fuck is this? Like some finals. 2022 worse. I mean, I don't know, bro. This I'll, is I'll... an LEC finals. I, I think it's 2022 LEC finals, but I have no clue. Like, how do you even know what draft this is? This could be any of the three drafts. What the fuck is this garbage? How could you ever get it based off this? How could you know which game it is? Yeah, I can see the trophy. Oh, yeah, I want another picture. Oh, is it this year? LEC Summer Finals. Wait, so this was LEC Summer Finals 2019, I guess? Wait, no, wait. So this is G2 versus Fnatic. Are the banners at the top? Wait, of the other one? Bro, there was no banners at the top. How could you ever know which draft this was? They played five games. I think this is, uh... Um, oh shit, I fucking went too far. But I mean, it, this is, I would just say this is 2019 because there's a Silas jungle. So this would be Broxa, Nemesis, um, Reckless, Telesong, Whippo, playing versus... Uh, G2, which was the iconic li lineup of Wonder, Yankos, Caps, um, Perks, Mickey X. Russian. It's a long time ago. Okay, there it is. Because they have jungle item. So it's G2 Fnatic. Yeah, 2019, G2 vs Fnatic, finals. Okay, okay. Fnatic. We move past <laughs> everyone's guesses. Let's it's see the last one. 2020. Oh. Perks. Oh, wait, okay. Here it is. Okay, so this is... TSM versus who is that? That's Parth. Is that versus Fnatic? Who's coach? Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's TSM versus Fnatic, and this was the draft where this was the draft where they left up Eve, right? They left up Eve Lucian. So this was 2020 TSM versus Fnatic in group stage. And they are, uh, oh, I just have to guess. I don't have to guess the champions. I just have to guess the players in the game. So that would have been um, Whippo, Self-Made, 
Nemesis, Reckless Hillisong versus BB, Spica, Bjergsen, Double Lift, and Biofrost. So is this Worlds 2021? 2022. That is Worlds. I think it's 2020. Okay, that's Miffy. And it's at Worlds. So it's NA versus... This is the oh, game okay, one. So the other... This is No, this is not the 10-man sleep. This is game one. This is game one where they forgot to ban Lucian Eve versus the team that one-tricked Lucian Eve. And then they just lost the whole game. The coaches might be another NA coach. Enemy team is NA. No? I want another picture. Yeah, enemy team is NA. LCS. Nice. Just yeah, bro, they left up Lucian E versus the one to- and Nah, it's just so disgusting, bro. We're, we're such a disgusting region. This is pissing me off. How fucking bad are we at prep? How bad are we at prep? <laughs> I watch this, and I'm like, okay, the one thing that you obviously ban from Fnatic is the Lucian Eve. You just break that apart, 100%. They fucking want a best of five versus G2, bro. They want a best of five versus G2. This was a second. LCS. Number one, so it's called They're line. so bad at prep. Oh, wait. Piss me off. This is the Evelyn Disgusting game. Disgusting North this American. Is teams at Worlds. There it is. TSM versus Fnatic. And Fnatic it was... Niski. Nemesis. Ah, uh, Reckless Healy. People Lazaro. Ah, uh, Lazaro. People Selfmates. Uh, TSM. TSM Hunter. For TSM, they beat us, so I remember. Oh my god. Maybe TSM has Bioxen. Double lift on AD. I have lost. Do you recognize who's on camera? No, that's a problem. Who is it? Let me get closer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I think on the picture he's broken, but no? And Bibi was playing there. He went 06. <laughs> and then the youngler. I have no idea. The youngler. Svenskir. Spika? Ah, Spika. <sighs> Easy. Wait, how many points did I get? Who was tallying it up? I got almost full points, no? It was close. Bro, wait, was LWX crying? Does he have a tear on his face? Or no? Wait, how's the T1 series going? Is T1 just gonna win? Is T1 just gonna win this game anyway, no matter what happened early? Yeah, T1 will just end up winning the game. They have Baron. It'll just be the driest T1 victory of all time. I'm going to play the ads and we'll wait for this. T1 on our head, but Dom won't have a smolder. True. I need to steal um, Casual's thing again. Hold on, let me just steal it from his stream. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. LCK 10. Okay, hold on. I've just robbed Kadrill of his LCK thing. Perfect. Now I just go over here into my and I add a image. And then I just steal this. Downloads LCK. Boom. And I just put it over here. Wait, where would the minimap be? Hold on. And we just put it here. Make it bigger. And now we have just robbed Kadrill. And I rename it so I remember what it is. And I say theft. And I will just name it theft. Okay. And now we can go over to... the LCK broadcast for a little bit. And then we just have to change our stream title. Put this over here. Hold on. Oh, CK, watch, but wait, the whole game's over? Wait, you're telling me I did all this for the game to just end in my face instantly?
Perfect. Flash. But still, Someone suck ass? Zayus, Zayus on yeah, of course it. they do, bro. The, Aatrox, the man was scaling all along. And... I'd say don't run at the Aatrox with Flash. That, yeah. That would Swap, be... Swap. He said, this is good. That's what they're doing up here. Small to low. And really, that was it. I mean, Swap, if... Swap, Swap. Got him as well. If DK were able to maintain a Wait, I thought that Kingen was bodying this guy. Why is he just 1v9? They might have been okay, but the second that aiming gets engaged upon, the fight is just done. What is aiming doing? I mean, people just got to be better at predicting um, their favor on the gold difference EQ flash, EQ3 flash from Aatrox. Like, it's just, yeah, it's super obvious, and I feel like people just don't respect it. Obviously, first and foremost, when you, when you pick Mauka in a composition like this, you got to stop using his ultimate as an engaged. It just doesn't work. Like every single time, because they have Nami, they have so much speed, they have the spell shield. Like you're just never ever gonna. Is this someone. really the build? And then secondly, from a Maokai, by the way. Have to be on the front you're telling me this is the build chat? Playing small where you go Knights Valid to Thornmail? Ain't no way, bro. I feel like we should stop Frozen Heart got nerfed the, oh, look at by he is, he is low. 100 gold and five armor, and suddenly you're not building it anymore it, it until an, into that. two auto attackers. Um, Plus a third AD source. Just yet, but nope. T1, I refuse to. Have total I refuse to believe Baron, that's a thing. I think that if they can secure a second Baron, it might just be over. Even with the amount of disengage that DK have in their comp, because eventually you just get bowled over by the huge amount of money that T1 have, which is sometimes just better than any amount of scaling. <laughs> it's just having a pure large amount of dollars Damn. in your wallet. Yeah. And right now, T1 obviously have that prerequisite amount of gold. I He's full build. Aiming won't let Lucid farm anymore. For this Baron I mean, come up. Looks like with position, yeah. They are maybe thinking about it. He wants healing reduction for Aatrox. So just get oblivious. I mean, okay, you realize that they took away the CC portion of Thornmail, right? Like you don't, you no longer provide Grievous on. Um, on target to UCC, which means that the only way that he actually applies healing reduction to the Aatrox here is if Aatrox chooses to auto attack him. So, uh, kind of trip over their own shoelaces. Think that that is mega cope. What we're saying right here. Also, the build from Showmaker looks awful. Oblivion Orb, Lighting Jewel plus a uh, Arm Guard. Hey, you're sitting on a solid. 3500 gold one. worth of components with no stats. It's hard forcing and it's Wait, Guma? For sure as Baron gets started up here. Yeah, uh, Guma is Surely the they one fight this now. Push everybody away and he does have an insane amount oh, of damage. Oh, he's just getting one shot. Far. He's got two armor items as well. Uh, Guma just zoned them so hard here. This grass comes in and they kind of laugh at them as they are not engaging into that. Dude, should not fight here. Baron. Should be happy to just go top and wave. Now they're just running away. Free Baron here for the set of T1 DK could do nothing about that. Lucid, only level 13. He is so, so weak. So Guma just stretched through him. Also has the Serpent's Fang. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's 15 seconds. So we're open guys, top or what, guys? Guys, we knew that they were going top that's, that's one minute ago. We just opened top? Um, oh, we just opened top. Nice. Seconds earlier, that yeah, we can win. Wait, they don't know, though. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, they could have they could have probably yeah. looked for the end there, especially with Baron. Nah, bro. We we no, there's no way we look for end there. T1 did 100 percent the right play. Take the take the top and hit base. Did not like walk towards Ocean Soul, so you don't give Ocean Soul for no reason. That's my co-caster. And then go bot. Like T1 is just they can maybe have Faker go mid and everyone else go bot, but I mean you just play mid bot here and just deny soul. Enemy team can't play. And yeah, now trying to stake their claim on this. That one is so shit. Yeah, they're really bad. I just, I, like, even though this game was looking good early, like, I had it on second monitor, even though it was looking good early, I just don't believe in Dom 1 at all. Just think that they're a bad team. I don't believe in anyone to be able to beat, um, the top two teams in LCK. You won, Genji. Faker got jumped on here, though. Probably one of the best starts of the fights you can get. Guess it doesn't matter, though. It was surprisingly tanky. He's buying so much time. He's going to flash away. And oh, my God. Massive damage coming up from Zeus and Faker into that back line. And that should do it, guys. T1. They All right, GG. The angle and end the mid and GG top. Goes into the top GG, GG. And this game will end in favor of T1. Oh, a 
according to plan for T1. Not even, not even a moment of worry uh, there, there, Veldas. What did we learn? Dude, you know, I would love I to know. see like uh, more teams face off between LPL and LCK. I would love to see like Dom One play against FPX, for example. Like, I think that would be like so fun, you know? I think that's the, the downside of the way we have our international tournaments is like you probably never get to see that matchup one time. I'd be so down for it. All right, let's go back to LPL, boys. Back to LPL. I mean, if you're never really going to be punished. You can get the angles, the burst damage down from the Lucian. Even in the late game, can get some work done. And DK were just not really able to respond to it. As Lucid, I, I don't know what the idea was. Maybe someone on the team was telling them to go in, but the engaged Maokai was not really well, it. We've seen this so Damn. many times already. And now we go back. To, oh, we just turn this off. Boom. Then we go live.
今天是第七周的第三个比赛日，即将进行的是今天的第二场比赛 ，WBG 一汽奥迪对阵上海 EDG 合创汽车。我是主持人松喜。那在比赛开始之前，还是有一些讯息要同步给大家。逛京东，搜“京东电竞”，参与 LPL 赛事预测，即有机会瓜分海、海、金豆及手机等多重大奖。Right. 欢迎各位召唤师在观赛之余前往参与预测。LPL 官方授权选手卡、赛场艺术家 Arena Artist 系列已上线，艺术创新的设计风格搭配拼图卡、彩虹套等独特玩法，等你收集。线上小程序搜“不凡盒子”，了解更多信息。Getting into the soon. 上海联盟竞技场线下热卖活动已经开启，快来参与吧！ I'm down for it. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't feel like Dalmon can beat T1. Like, they they won early game, and enemy team didn't even have like that OP of a team comp. Like Lucian, Nami, Nocturne, Talia, Aatrox. It doesn't even sound like a good comp to me. So T1 with like a inferior comp, plus a bad early game, and the enemy team has the late game smolder insurance, and they still got stomped. So if like that's the case. And what world, like what conditions need to be met for Dalmon to actually win the game versus T1? They had, in theory, better scaling. They had pretty good early. Like they played pretty well early. I don't know. Like doesn't feel like they can play throughout the the game. The perks it really feels. The Jungle League of Legends show. Oh, the Jungle is back with the Serto. But it's with um LEC players, okay, or LEC talent. Oh shit. Oh shit. Need to resurrect Dom's hate for T1 so they will win worlds again. What do you mean, bro? I hate them. I've been hating. What do you want from me? How can I hate anymore? Is it just me, or is T1 losing every single game? <laughs> they, what do you mean? They just won the last game, bro. They lost two games. They lost to Genji. That's it. They didn't lose anything else, but besides for to Genji. Is hating on T1 necessary? Be the change you wish to see in the world. Yeah, I want more people to hate T1, so I'm trying to hate T1, bro. Like what? I am the change that I want people to see in the world. Trying to lead people to a better place. Uh, 这一场 BO3 
比较像他会选取的英雄，全是快节奏啊。对的。另外一边，我们看看 E D G 在后面要面对的几支对手啊。W B G， 呃，打完之后要打 L N G U P 和 J D G。哇，这个反正强队也不少。呃，问题已经不是别人强不强了啊，是感觉别人好像都必须得吃下这分啊，是，因为现在 E D G 只剩了两场的情况下，就是你剩下想进季后赛的队伍，你只要输给 E D G，、嗯、就等于你跟别的队伍就是差这一分。是，呃， E D G 的先发五虎啊，上单阿勒带 Monkey， 中路是 Fisher， 下路是 The Snake Vampire。嗯，这个阵容。呃，打的最近磨合的感觉还是不错的，特别是 Snake AD 位置上面，感觉成长还是挺多的。嗯，再加上 Monkey 过来之后，<笑>感觉指挥的就是 Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. I I didn't even look at this video by uh my editor released the video that says Grandpa hits Challenger, and one of the comments is Is he the oldest Challenger player? <laughs> 杰斯虽然说这个选人这里只选了一方，但是蛮多队伍会选择把他杰斯搬掉的。It's probably true. I probably am. 不妨聊聊双方的这个上单位选手啊。呃，朱德章，阿乐，对于 EDG 来讲，阿乐又是。It's okay, Chad. At least I have you, motherfuckers. 然后最能够在有限获胜比赛中能够开锐队伍的这个选手啊，今天面对朱德章，或者说面对 most likely 年轻的游荡，可能阿乐今天也会遭到一些 WBG 的针对啊。是的。Big challenger, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Where did the time go? Bro, can they start the next series, bro? How long has this been? How long was this? Start the next series. Let's see if Weibo are frauds or not. I mean, we already know they're frauds, but let's see like how fraudulent. You lose to EDG, you're mega frauds. 尤其是有斯莫德这种英雄的出现，那就看一下吧。我觉得第一把斯莫德这个英雄还是很重要。Is a complete fail from Dig Hoon on Orin when he messed up his old one of your favorite League moments of all time? Yeah, it's up there. I like it. What are my favorite League moments of all time? I mean, EDG winning Worlds in 2021 was pretty hype. Uh. G2 beating T1 in 2019 is one of my favorite moments. Like that play where you know, they kill and then caps TBs into the base and ends the game. That was like pretty sick. Uh, what else? I mean, just things from my career, obviously some of my favorite league moments, because that obviously matters to me. What else? I'm trying to think. But yeah, I mean, it's up there. When Guma stole another Nash against Pioshik in finals, bro, that wasn't one of my favorite moments. That was one of my least favorite moments. I was freaking the fuck out. Good,能赢几场是几场。对，就加把劲。嗯，最好再给一些争夺季后赛席位或顺位的队伍制造一些麻烦，是吧？我们也看看梅赛德斯奔驰为大家带来的峡谷新人对决。两边的数据差别还是
Her series of worlds was 2022 Genji vs. Dom Wan. I loved every moment. Did Genji even play vs. Dom Wan in 2022? Oh, yeah, they did. Thank you. Oh, shit, the prep meal. Alright, I got a prep meal from Gilius. You ready for the prep meal? I don't know. I don't know if it's good. I have no idea if it's going to be good. So whatever, bro. I'm hungry. I'll eat anything right now. I think it's kind of hard to hold. 52 grams of protein, though. Yeah, there's some vegetables in there. That's why I got a prep meal. I eat the other ones are fine, bro. I don't mind like prep meals if they're good.
I mean, you don't really like playing Draven into Nyla, so you could ban like Zeri, Zaya, and then force them to play something not good like Ezreal. Hey,那这首贾格斯微博好像 Jax ban. What does that mean? What does ZDZ want to play? He's just going to play Udyr, I guess? Actually, no. Yeah, what does he want to play? Does he want to play like Camille or some bullshit? Okay. Ziggs picked. By EDG. You really care about Jax that much when you're picking... Hey, trucks, I don't know. Rel jungle for Yudang. Okay. Is it Loki a Camille angle? Jace? Okay, I'm down with it. I'll have LCK on second monitor and we'll see how it how it looks oh shit it's Sona picked or Damwon ain't no way they're playing Lucian Sona Lucian Sona bro what Sona over Milio? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't pair as well with the Lucian. But Sona and Tanami is a better matchup, is the idea? JJ to LNG? I mean, JJ is injured right now. Lil Bro took a dive after realizing he was going to have to finish a split with Vampire and Fisher on his team. Honestly, respectable. Right, okay, we're back. Ready to go. Apparently, Kellen was the one who played, who last placed, last played Soda versus Nami, and he won. Okay. Fisher Masterclass, bro. Fisher is sus, man. I don't believe in this guy. 
、呃，不过他们没有选择在对面拦开，嗯、呃，没有选择直接去换。Hurry already flash. Yeah, I don't know. 一会儿来等待一下，这个是什么情况？是的。I'll be honest, I did not see it. 看出来 ，WBG 是践行了一下这个一级团的强势度，但是就可惜的是没有选择。Bro, Faker is getting owned by Showmaker this series, and it just doesn't matter, or what? 进行到底，对的。Nah, surely it matters. Surely Kellen isn't just dead on my screen right here. Owner L. Oh my God, owner. Jesus. Jesus. That was a toughy. 而且因为一级的时候 ，Bisha 这个闪现被打出来的话，感觉中路线权应该也是拿不住了。嗯，对啊，就看一下要不要联动吧。感觉我们还是可以下路直接做一波进攻了。三级那波，虽然说野区的赵信和瑞尔肯定是赵信那边更厉害，但是 WBG 人可能更多。对，架不住你下路是双射手，可以帮助到 WBG 的游动。Got no room on my desk, bro. Is what it is. This round, 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 this Ah, whatever. Okay, focus on this game. Keep that one on second monitor. Put the chat up. Okay, we got YouTube chat as well. So random dumb, but you're my goat. Hey, thank you, bro. Okay, monkey doing the raptor clear straight into blue gromp is gonna be bot side. Rel is just going to be doing the um, three camp bot side clear. The reason why Zin does this is because if he doesn't do this, and enemy team has Ash and Isla. Um, because of Ash support being so OP early, they're gonna have push bot lane, and he can lose his whole bot side to the Rel. So now when Rel invades, or if Rel chooses to invade, there'll be no camps on blue side. See the Rel like moving around here. Kind of a weird way that Weibo crashed this wave though. Like the melees were in the turret, but the range minions were not. So they actually don't have huge advantage here. Enemy team gets level two pretty easily. Uh, Yu Dang is going to contest the wolves, though. Ends up getting them. Solid. Chases them out. Looks like they can't do much bot. Drops another ward so his bot lane can keep on playing aggressive, and then he's just going to go back to his blue side. Okay. So, Crisp is firing his hawk shot at Krugs. He'll be able to see Zin because it's a really balanced ability. Boom! Now we know where the Zin is. Excellent. But Yu Dang might be able to do. Wait, what the hell? What did Light do? Wait, Light Omega griefed. Nice. He went in melee range to Ziggs and got W'd into the turret by the snake, and he doesn't have TP, and the snake does have TP, so it should be pretty hard for them to play. Weibo has to give this up or what? Mm, EDG in pretty good spot. Yeah, Light just got W'd into turret. Oh, actually, he, actually, he didn't W into turret. He got he eat into the turret himself. Never mind. <laughs> Trying to dodge the Rakan W, he eat forward. Monkey hasn't based, and neither has. Yu Dang. Both junglers just walking around the map at five minutes with no items. Oh, Monkey's in a really bad spot. Uh, Monkey, he's just dead. Good, good prediction from Jeho. I mean, it was like pretty easy, but at least he did it. ZDZ gets a kill that's so big for him in this lane. 
Thank you, Monkey, for just inting for free. Wait, T1's actually losing? Holy shit, wait, T1's losing. Damn. Bro, Dom Wan macro looks so bad. So let's let's see if they actually close it. Yeah, this monkey. Oh, and they got solo killed bot. Okay, so this looks pretty troll from Yu Dang. Looks like he is just griefing on purpose based off what I'm seeing here. He just W'd into the Drake pit and had to flash. He is purposely losing the game. What did Kellen do? Oh, he ran it down. It's actually so good that the Aatrox got the early kill. It makes the lane so easy for him. Early kill from Aatrox just means that he's able to base on pickaxe plus tabbies. Pretty, pretty, essentially, he just gets like free tabbies, whereas before you'd have to be on like boots cloth armor plus a pickaxe, so you have to choose between either being like tanky and like being able to survive the jace lane or dealing damage and trying to kill him now he's the best of both worlds hey so he just walks straight all he misses the q Yu Dang didn't end up losing the Drake off his misplay around there, so I guess that's good. Ooh, nice by Crisp. He's just dead. Crisp gets the kill, but. Still really good. Nice arrow, nice arrow. Game is kind of slow though because uh, no team is taking Drake. Now, will Weibo play for the six grubs or will they just run back down to Drake? EDG might look to do something bot because they know that Ash has no arrow right now. But Nyla is a pretty hard champ to dive in general. Especially with like Rakan not being level six. EDG ends up getting the Drake. Okay. Allows them to stall out. I mean, EDG is pretty happy scaling here. They should feel like they outscale this game. Oriana, and then they have like Jace, which scales really well. Zig scales pretty uh, well in this type of game as well. I mean, Aatrox is normally not considered like the biggest scaling champ, but in this game, Aatrox scales super well, so. Kind of a weird game, but I think EDG should be happy scaling throughout the game. They're trying to just deny one of the grubs. 
It's pretty good for EDG. I mean, the difference between five and six grubs is pretty big. Okay. Looking for kill onto Monkey. Monkey has ult. DDZ not going to flash in. Monkey ends up getting out by getting to the Raptors. A decent play from Yudang, but they don't end up getting any kills off of it. Get the flash on Monkey. And bro, the Zig is actually doing work here. Holy fuck. Zig's into Nyla. I mean, Nyla is really far behind. Ziggs needs the turret to be at 1250 to take it. He can probably do it on this wave if he really wants to. Ends up being a TP coming in from the Aatrox. They're just lane swapping. Trying to have the Aatrox uh, lane versus the Ziggs so Ziggs can't easily take the turret because versus Nyla, the turret is just gone. Okay. Base rush. Can they get the flash? Oh, they're going to get more than the flash. He's going to die here. Maybe not. Let's see it. Oh, man. Dude, that looks miserable for Ale, by the way. I mean, they do lose their bot turret, though. And they're just 1v4 killing the uh, Aatrox. Okay, they do have five grubs, so they can answer back plates top. Oh man, he's actually doing so much dirt damage to the turret. Plate diff, or a grub diff, I mean. And Chris is going to come up here too, they're just going to take the full turret in response. Pretty decent macro play from Weibo to get out of the shit situation because Ziggs was just chunking down the turret versus light in front of his face. There's nothing he could do. Weibo got a new jungler? Yeah, they're playing with a new jungler. I love the snake. Yeah, I love the snake too. No homo though. Uh, the, snake, the snake plays pretty well. Like his Varus is really nice. He just seems like he has pretty good like movement. Outputs a lot of damage. Looks much better than somebody like LWX for example. <laughs> hey, so cute today? No, I don't have time because first series took three games and then I have a talk show immediately after this series. So we're just doing this until uh, this um, series into Power Spike. And then tomorrow, maybe we can get some solo queue in before our LCS plan. So is Dom1 going to win the game or are they going to find a way to int it? I turn to the screen and they're instantly losing a fight while they're up like 3k gold. And figured an ult over the wall. I guess it ends up being 2 for 2. I just don't believe in Dom1, man. Why do I just not believe in them? How good is Elk on a scale of 1 to 10? He's like a 9 or a 10, easily. One of the best ADs in the world. Like probably like the 5 best ADs in the world are like Jackie Love, Elk, Ruler, Viper, uh, Guma. Not in any order. Pays maybe he's up in there as well. So maybe you'd go six. ZDZ ends up killing Ziggs here. Monkey will die as a result. As well. Vampire has to flash out. That's really, really big from Weibo. They needed something like this to happen because they were kind of getting outscaled. The Aatrox is going to be a problem, like we said. Ning's kind of chunked. Will Weibo contest this Drake? I think they probably have to give the Drake. 
I don't think Weibo can contest it because they have the base. They're going to be off tempo. The snake still has ult. Poke will be coming in. I think it's hard to contest. Boshalong 哇,我感觉韩明随时这一件要拉弓了。Yo oh, Bob, that was just so cringe, I just had to perma it. Had perma was insta Jesus? Yeah bro. Anyone who types like that, I just, I, I just hate him bro, I don't know what to say. It is what it is. Yo Bob! <laughs> like, nah nah nah. 07 bro. Who the fuck is Bob? That's what I'm saying, man. I'd rather you call me a slur than call me that. Okay, full dive onto the snake. He has Seraph's Eprox. Bro, Nyla took so long to kill him here. And respond. Yudang is dead as well. Ends up being a pretty decent comeback play from EDG or like response play. They know yet, Seraphs. I mean, yeah, I think they did. I just think they overestimated the amount of damage that Nyla could do here. I mean, I think the Ziggs into Nyla makes a lot of sense. Nyla is OP into auto attacking champions. Pick something that doesn't auto attack. And their comp makes a lot of sense too. 2 AP, 2 AD. They have engaged. They can play front to back. Like, I like what EDG put together here. Mid turret down for EDG. Oh, I like EDG's comp. Like this Nyla looks like it's going to be kind of useless throughout the game. It's going to have to get a really big ult or something. Xiangjuafatio 专注。You have both YouTube and Twitch chat open? Yep. Lay for EDG? Yeah, lay for EDG for sure. I mean, this Nyla is going to fall off a cliff. It's all up to like Aatrox to 1v5. It's really like all up to Aatrox to do mega work in the fights because this Nyla doesn't do much until like Orianna, Ziggs, Jace. Like they have to find some like Wombo engage with Rel, Nyla, and then Aatrox has to be doing the heavy lifting, doing the damage here. I also think that in this game, Monkey should be getting some MR. I don't think he needs to buy Frozen Heart. I mean, I'm down with a Frozen Heart, but I would like him to buy a Negatron. 
Because I feel like for him, he's going to be eating a lot of the, um, the Karma EQs. Or, uh, RQs. Oh, look, Dom, wait, is Dom going to lose? If Dom loses this game, they can just never win, bro. Dom okay, now T1's on Baron. Dude, it's, I'm telling you, bro, like, how can Dom win? Okay, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe they win, maybe they win. Maybe I'm coping. But I just see the spot that Dom was in, where they were, like, 5-0, up 2k gold early game. And now they're late game versus T1, and they're only up 2k gold, and now they're losing team fights. T1 too good. Unlike AL. Wait, T1 is better than AL? Holy fuck. That's crazy, bro. Wait, next you're going to tell me that DRX is a worse team than BLG. No way, no way, no way. Man, T1 just stole Baron and they're just going to win the whole game. Yeah, bro, it's so boring, actually. It's so boring, bro. It's so boring. 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 It's Mm, this is really bad from EDG. They're playing this in the worst way possible. Like, they're trying to, like, dive into the enemy team. Oh, ZDZ inted for this. This is definitely not worth, bro. He kills the Rakan. Nice, bro. We killed the Rakan, but our main damage source just died. I mean, Light's going to try to go onto Monkey here. They should be willing to fight here. EDG should be willing to fight. They should have fought harder there with Monkey. Second Drake looks like it will go the way of Weibo. There's no way the collective IQ of Dalmont is over 10. They're really bad. I mean, they just have no macro, right? They never, they, they play so poorly around objectives every single game and it just never gets better and it's been like years of this now for dom one dom one last year was the same team bro they were the same way decent team had no macro why is edg even contesting this hard to send zig stop or something i mean they, it's fine to contest i mean honestly they the frontline misplayed here or this would have been a better fight for edg like they're strong enough to fight for sure I, th I think the game is really EDG favored at this point. That's what I think. Trying engage on Vampire. I just think the team comp is just so good. They have poke. There's no real response to the poke. The only engage from Weibo is like Rel with Nyla on top or Ash Arrow. Ash Arrow gets countered by the Mikhails. That's already been bought from, by Vampire. This Ziggs is like scaling through the fucking roof right now. Oriana's strong. Jace is strong. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just delusional. I just don't really see how Weibo can win. They have to just like out macro them, just outplay them. They don't have like a real easy way to, to do it. And Dom one is 5k gold behind. Yep. And here's the engage. Yudang's in there. Monkey can just ult. They can play front to back here. They have to make sure that they don't allow Aatrox to like flank or anything. Light is in really bad spot. Look at the Ziggs damage coming in. 
They should just turn. They should. Oh my god. Nice, nice, nice. They should just do Baron here. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. The EDG comp is really good here. They mega out comp them. Vampire, just don't int, bro. It's really easy. Just do not int. Enemy team is no jungle. Just do Baron. It's free. Oriana still has ult. If you somehow let them steal this, you deserve to lose the game. You just be free. Easy smite, easy smite, easy smite. Nice. It's GG. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. EDG comp is too good here. Might just be GG. Nyla seems so Nyla seems so turbo useless. So the reason they picked Nyla is because they were really convinced that enemy team was gonna go Zyra Khan, but then the snake pulled out Ziggs, which is counter to Nyla. And then they just went Jace on five. So it's pretty smart, bro. Honestly, clear love diff. This is a nice EQ, by the way, from Ole. Also, ZDZ dodging that and letting his jungler die is pretty criminal, but Maybe he's just, that's his boy Zhao Hao, bro. He's trying to bring Zhao Hao back. Like, yo, Zhao Hao, bro, I got you. If there's a chance I can make this motherfucker look like shit, I will do it. Keep on sieging. Okay. Good Mikhail's. And now you just go back to poking. Well, Monkey, never go in there, bro. Never go in there, Monkey. That's so bad by him. This is really bad. Even if they win this fight, this is really horrible execution on your comp. You should be very happy with how the situation played out, where they're using Aatrox ult, and they're using um, Ash Arrow, and you can just continue sieging. Turning this into an engage is a big, big misplay by EDG. Even if that works out and you kill them, it's just such a bad way to play out what your comp is. You should be so happy to have them expend their ults, and you can just chill and then siege, and you just want to be able to siege forever, you know? Man, Fisher almost got solo killed by Light, bro. How? How did you almost get solo killed here? So they're only gonna get one turret off this? They could have got so much more. Also, I don't really like the Orianna being the one that splits, like versus Nyla. I just feel like they can push one wave and then group five on a lane. I don't think that W that Weibo is really good. Oh, the snake got hit. He has no Mikhails right now. Failed his thing. Oh, this is really big throw. Monkey can maybe get caught here. Okay. Trying to run. Oh, he actually lives. They have gate and W for him. Yeah, that was the time where they could get caught because no Mikhail's. Oh, they lose the blue as well. Blue is really good for their team because they have uh, such an insane poke comp. Monkey, what are we doing here, bro? Wait, do they kill ZDZ? They don't kill ZDZ. Everyone lives, bro. Why do we have to make the game like this, though? Why did we need to make the game this fucking shit fest? I'm win, yeah, 2 0. I'm win. Let's just ban Banana Street as well. This guy's comments all just make me cringe. Like every one of his comments make me cringe. AL noobs, TF mom dead. Nice, 3-2-2 two, two sucks, EDG, 3-2-2 two, two match, EDG win, 4-1, haha, die, easy 2-0, easy money, easy wait, Weibo is M9, 
Ha uh, ha! Noobs suck. Easy 2-0. Lo ha ha! Waymo win 2-0. Easy money. I'm win. I'm win. Yeah, 2-0. That's fucking bad. He just... I just hate him as a person. It is what it is. And the Dom Juan series is over. They were up 2k gold at 10 minutes and they threw somehow. Like they always do. His Dom Juan has zero macro. <laughs> I hear fucking Gilly is popping off in the, in the other room. He's like, yeah, yeah. Let's just hear this from the other room. Hey, they're trying to engage onto Monkey. That was a flash. Monkey has his own flash in a second. Do you have it? Did he flash? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he flashed. Oriana? Light doesn't even kill him? Light doesn't even kill him? Light's dead? Crypt Bloom? Oh, that's so big for EDG. They can probably try to leverage Baron off this. They should be able to get Baron off this. Enemy team has no way to enter, really. Monkey can just tank it. They have, like, Vampire to heal him as well. Useful champ. I mean, Nyla, Nyla got counter. You know, I don't hate Nyla as a champion. I just think that it's just not good here. I think Nyla is like a counter pick AD when enemy team has like a lot of auto attackers. But here they just don't have many auto attackers at all. Oh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. No, just keep on hitting. Keep on hitting the, the Baron though. Oh, Jahu's dead. Jahu's dead. Can ZDZ do it? It's up to Ollie to kill him. Okay, keep the Baron aggroed. Oh, you dang failed his thing. Oh my god. All right, he's going back to LDL. Back to LDL with you, brother. You are back to LDL, buddy. That should be that should be enough. To, like, not end the game, but like the game's effectively over. Actually, maybe they can end. Light can't do shit to defend. Ah, oh, they could probably just end. Yo, Gilius. Come here, bro. What does this look like? 150 EDG, 2.6 odds. EDG, map winner. Look at the game right now. Over 33. 33. That's oh, just like a smooth thousand on this game. What? <laughs> it's so free. It's so free, bro. It's so free. Okay, bro, I can buy dinner now. <laughs> yeah, if Rachel wants to, I'm down. That's <laughs> ah, just a smooth thousand. Hey, take those. Let's fucking go. Be right back. Be right back. Poketi,虽然前期呢,上单的杰斯有招到对面的针对,但是依靠了下路杰格斯强力的推线压制,以及到了后期两波大龙的处理,首先是二十四分钟抓住了对面打野游荡的时机,拿下了第一条大龙,
，就只能说 Vampire 这个干锅出得好啊，出得好，确实把这个寒冰的这个剑给刻得死死的啊。原本原本是寒冰的前面大概三剑吧，都收到了不错的成效。嗯，但是干锅一出，寒冰从此他就定格在三杠零的这么个数据了。对的，再加上说下路 Light 自己的一波失误吧，一进了塔，嗯，导致他其实这把下路对线被压了特别多。对，本身他拿出双射手尼拉加的寒冰，他是想压人的，嗯，结果这一个一技能一不小心进塔了，那又被套一手引燃，自己被打回家，反过来下路。这个局势就易主了，而且松松一看就是，你下路我们二 v 二打不出优势，我去游走。对，但你一游走，这个尼拉的被动又要不了，然后下路还还被这个炸弹吃塔迪，就直接雪上加霜。确实如此呀。随后在整个的团战端，我们会发现 EDG 的整个阵容也会更加的完整啊。嗯 ，Monkey 每次都能扛住成吨的伤害，然后包括炸弹人和杰斯都能提供很好的 poke。而且我们再复盘一下这个 WBG 这个 BP， 其实。呃，可以看到下路如果优势不是特别大的话，他们伤害会不够，嗯，对吧？别的，就 W B E 这个阵容，你会发现控制链确实能接得很不错，但是控制接完了，你会发现没伤害，没伤害了，没有人打伤害。在你没伤害的时候，那就是 E D G 的反打时刻。在反打的方面， E D G 这套阵容是非常非常完整的。那阿乐这个杰斯玩到后面，这个伤害也是起来了嘛？对 yeah, ，Draft Diff, Clear Love Diff. This is what I was saying, man. The reason why I was watching this is I think there's a higher chance of E D G upsetting Weibo. Compared to like Dom one upsetting T one, so we'll see. This 后面是刚好闪现好了，赶紧闪出来。嗯。Like honestly, when I was I was watching the T one game on second monitor, I feel like today is close to as bad as T one could ever play. Like for them as a team, like this was like if you look at like T one's level, right? And you just were to judge like them against themselves out of ten, this is probably one of the worst days T one could have. And they still beat Dom one. 总体来说，感觉 E D G 这个阵容就是输出点更多吧。对。微博这个阵容选出来，就是除非说下路就是直接打爆的那种对线，可能尼拉和寒冰伤害还高一些。但是这种你下路反倒是被别人先推一塔的，你装备肯定是不够的。嗯，或者说对于这个 WBG 来讲，你想面对 POKE 体系，你的强开点要多。嗯，你一手寒冰的远距离开端是远远不够，一手干锅完美把你克制之后。微博，导致的，我 I mean yeah， the whole point is like I mean Weibo， I don't even think Weibo are like that bad。I think EDG is playing a lot better. Like EDG is not the 17th best team in LPL when they have this lineup that they're currently playing. Like they were the 17th best team when they were playing with like Solo Kill and other players like that. But I, I would take EDG in a best of series versus Ultra Prime. I would take them over RA. Um, LGD would be close. They won a game versus IG. They 2-0'd AL. I mean, I don't know. I think they could win some best of series versus like some of the bottom teams. Just that it took them a while to settle on this lineup. There he is, bro. The snake. The snake is the MVP. Because snake is the MVP. 
想着下路抗压，然后守住塔就已经是大成功了。嗯，结果这把是很早，十二分钟就已经把对面的塔一塔给拆掉了。镀层吃满。对啊，然后再换线。而且那波其实还蛮细节的是，我那波一打一，他他其实那一波就可以把那个塔爆掉，但他。故意不把那个塔爆掉，就等你建模来守，然后再叫队友过来把他那个建模给越掉。The fucking snake, bro. Should we start the drive series, the drive video? How long is it until the next one? Welcome back to LCS opening day for Game Three, FlyQuest and Shopify Rebellion. I was born in Iraq. The city Baghdad in 2004. I think that is just around the year where the war started. Like I was only a year old before we left. Yeah, all my extended family, like my grandparents, my uncles, my cousins, they timing. all stayed in Iraq. So it was a tough decision. Whenever I think about the sacrifices my parents made, I feel like I have to push myself forward whenever I make a goal, no matter how like tired I would feel or no matter how much I feel like it was unachievable, just because whenever I remember how much was sacrificed for me to even have the opportunity, it would feel like a slap in the face to half-ass my effort. We head on to the Rift for game three of our opening weekend. Mama, Baba, yalla b'sara, al l'abba b'dat. Yalla, yalla. Oh, that's what yalla, yalla means. Okay. I've heard that before. Yusuf, go minna, ke Yusuf. No, no, no. Allah, I am. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Damn, everyone's got the FlyQuest gear. FlyQuest, are they in trouble at this point? Doesn't find Busio. Gets clipped. The shot wave is down. Towards a lot of damage. The shot wave is down. New year, new flag quest. يعني عفوا عليكم بالبداية يعني فززتونا إحنا قلنا راحة اللعبة إيه يعني ما عرفنا شنو شنو دنسى كاوي دنو المهم رجعت المهم يعني بالضبط المهم يعني استعبتوها حبيبي شكرا قبي حبيبي عفيا عليك يا بلد This is my rookie year and it's been a pretty insane roller coaster, I would say. I did feel like pretty homesick for the first while because it was my first time living alone. I'm like so used to hearing my like dad stomp around the house or like hearing my siblings say stupid stuff. I was kind of just getting used to living alone and having nobody there to Damn. kind of take care of me as well. So visiting home was a nice few days. <laughs> All my like ethics and manners come from the like closely knitted culture in Iraq, which I didn't get to experience directly in the country, but I got to live it through my family, of course. So I don't really remember anything at all, other than like stories that I've heard from my sister, brother, or my dad or mom. It's always nice to have these old pictures with you. But, um, Was this grandma's house? Yep. Yeah, so uh, we would spend a lot of our time in our grandmother's house whenever us and our cousins would all come together. That was before the war. So everything was still like 
relatively peaceful. The neighborhood it's, itself like was very friendly. Do you remember when we had the PlayStation 2 and then we were just, we had a shared room. Mm -hmm. At first it was uh, Yusuf and I and then it was you and I, do you remember? Yeah. And then we just played on the carpet. Yeah. I still remember, it was like a cartoon dinosaur carpet. <laughs> That's where we first oh, for draft. Had started gaming with us. I'd get stuck on a mission for like an hour with many of these puzzle games. I would just not be able to solve something and then he would just do it himself and then teach me how to do it. So, uh, so yeah. And these pictures, Fahad was so... Damn, one a natural gamer. One year old, yeah. That's when uh, our dad had his accident and that's... Uh, Fahad in his lap, and then Yusuf and I. At the time, they told me it was an accident. Mom and Dad just did their best to make us feel like everything is normal, everything is is fine. My dad and mom would like play it off as uh, something not too serious, as to not scare the kids. But you know, now that they t tell the stories, they realize that like sometimes like a close neighborhood would get bombed there. Oh my God. Sometimes, you know, like something very dangerous could happen close to them. My dad told me a little bit about when he got into a accident because he was a victim of like a kidnapping attempt. And I am not sure why he was, like why those people wanted to kidnap him. It might've been because of his profession as a doctor, or it might have been just for, like for a ransom. It was a conflict time in Iraq. On February 9th, 2005, at morning time, while on my way home, I realized uh, after a while there's two cars. First it was one car, and after I realized two cars were trying to stop me. And that specific time, the kidnap was on the top of the situation there. I swear of the Jesus. God I never surrender because uh, you and your family gonna be in a torture way. So I accelerated in a crazy way. I hit one of the cars and accelerate to run away. Holy fuck, wait, his dad is a badass. What the fuck? And after that, uh, the second car, uh, Wait, Masu's dad is just him or what? After me, I couldn't stop my car. The traffic was uh, stopped there. So I rolled over for four times. I just hit uh, a car in the front of me. I still remember that car because it was l the last flashing before the accident it was a uh, uh, Dodge uh, red color. With that accident, I think they left me. The car totally smashed. I had an injury to my uh, left knee, but I'm lucky that I still alive. And that's why I have a special relationship with Fahad because I stayed for nine months, uh, eight months at home. Usually uh, the closest one to me was Fahad. I'm blessed uh, because of him. He was just two months old at that time. I am. It wasn't safe anymore to stay especially for the kids. Today, it happened with me. Tomorrow, they're gonna try again, and even for one of the kids. So it was difficult to stay. That's why we decided to leave. On one side, I, like, I feel really lucky that I got a chance to grow up without having to worry about, you know, the implications of the war, and then, the other part where it's like, I feel pretty terrible for what they had to go through. I left my childhood, memory, a lot of friends, families. I remember till now when my father, God bless his soul, when he told me, we have only one son. We don't want to lose you. Just go out. Just go out, it's a conflict period of time. Just go out, we don't know what's going on. So it, it was against my wishes. I decided to go and to take- yeah, I like his dad. His dad seems like a real one. My kids, my wife, to a better life, 
to say, I am unlucky because I had a lot of them, they couldn't have that chance. It was a very difficult time. What he wanted for me in the end was like just a secure future. So then, of course, when he had the idea of playing video games for a living, he, it was like hard for him to even believe it. Yeah, hell no, bro. If I went through all that shit and then my son comes to me like, hey, uh, I want to just. Usually when we leave, we live together as a family. Wherever, whenever we keep as a member of five, we never separated. He was the first child to left home, which we never used to all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, can he be my dad? Oh, and he's not in his room. So it True was a very difficult time for, uh, yeah. Now he is there. Like it was shock for the whole family, but I was so happy for him. I am so proud of him. We are so proud of him. So yes, I have to say that I am lucky that even if I can say it's a sacrifice that Cut the tape right there because that was a player he should have flashed. He actually could have lived there. Just no matter what I do, just All right, big, big. Okay. Into EDG versus Weibo game two.
ADG versus Weibo, game number two. That was a good video. It's a good drive. Beat the shit out of my drive. Dude, you know when they did my drive? They did a drive video on me, right? The They took me for a full day. This is like, you know, like with LCS schedule, you get one day off a week. But back when I was a player, you pretty much had to do sponsor obligations on that Monday. So instead of doing sponsor obligations, I went for six hours with them to a batting cage and they wanted to like the story to be about like how I grew up as like a baseball player and how I, you know, eventually became a league player. I had experiences on a team in baseball and that prepared me for being competitive esports player, right? Whatever. That was the idea behind my drive episode. And then we, so we spent six hours filming and whatever. And then they called me three days later and they're like, actually bunny foo foo's video was like all about basketball. We don't want every single one to be about like sports. So we're just going to scrap all that footage and we have to just do it again. Another day. That was what they did, bro. Can't believe it. I just wasted a bunch of fucking time. Yeah, so then they just ended up like filming some shitty drive video where they just took like footage of me. They took me to my roof. They, so like there's I'm a I'm on a roof for my drive video. It's like talking about my career and stuff and like how I like I, I mean, they love the adversity thing for drive, right? Like they love like just talking about like the adversity that you went through to get to where you were like that's like their whole thing, right? So they talked about like me getting banned or whatever and they filmed it all just on the roof of my of my uh, like apartment building. There's like, yeah, bro, like, fuck it. Like, we don't know what to fucking do with you. Just just come to the roof and just, like, look sad and whatever and just make make this, like, uh, make the video like that. It was, like, on the, I think it was, like, fifth story roof. <laughs> it took me to the roof, yeah. That was my drive video. Let's fucking go. They liked me. Feels okay, man. Monkey is just pathing like this so he doesn't show on the um, Raptor ward that he knows is there. Going straight to his blue into Gromp. Do they want me to jump off? No, I, I mean... They're like, if you want to, bro, like, we're not going to stop you, but... No, they didn't want me to jump off, I don't think. So what's going on with Draft here? Okay, so we have the Nocturne here, but so it's Nocturne Rakan into Smolder. I don't know, bro. I'm looking at EDG's comp. EDG's comp looks pretty fucking good. It's like a protect the smolder comp with all solid lanes. Just they they pick things to neutralize enemy dive. Poppy, Talia, this type of stuff. And then they just have a smolder on their team. I don't know, bro. I don't know. This game is just all about can uh, light carry. How hard can light carry? He's got to put in a shift. I mean, Karma's pretty good this game. Not much counter to the poke. Oh my god, that was actually so good by Ale. You saw, see what he did there? He knew that the only way for him to CS that cannon was to auto E it. Like auto E auto for the auto reset, and he W'd the E. So Aatrox missed the cannon. Pretty fucking based, honestly. Nice play from Ale there. Oh, Jaha is back. I didn't even notice Jaha was back. Right here, Gilius is watching two and a half men in the living room. He just loves two and a half men, bro. Like his favorite show. Bro, Gilius watches two and a half men and he laughs at every joke. Like, he, he pretty much just, like, whatever the laugh track laughs, he laughs. That's what Gilius does after stream.
。小虎是没有省这个传送啊，直接传出来，稳固一下自己中路的线。Yeah, I literally just heard. I heard men, 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 manly men, men, men. That's what I'm literally hearing in my. It's like almost gonna come through the microphone soon. Delius is Charlie Sheen. He literally says that Charlie Sheen is like his biggest inspiration. He hopes to one day have sex with a hooker and get HIV. He literally said this to me. <笑>小号已经在动超重了哇那这把其实小号会玩得很舒服啊嗯就你玩打野的话你三路线拳就是想怎么玩怎么玩一直在刷满地图都是你的是的想去哪就去哪直接化身蒙多打一下我看梦
Bro, look at the angle on Fisher's Q here. Holy. It's nice that Light got the kill. Yeah, EDG just gets two grubs here to deny five grubs. Five, six are big power spikes on grubs. So if you can get like one or two, really helps you out throughout the game. Monkey, where are you going, brother? Seeing Smolder die is the most satisfying thing, sexually. Okay, bro. Alright. A little weird. 54 stacks on Smolder. But not too many stacks. Do you think LPL can win MSI right now? No, I think I think the region that's won MSI for the last, like, what, three years in a row can't win this year. They just can't. Nice kill. It's just impossible. Yeah, it's just impossible. They shouldn't even go, honestly. Game is done. I mean, it feels like that, right? They're down 1k gold and it feels like they're just going to smolder all over the other team's faces. Why is your girlfriend called Kraken and not Infinity Edge or Navery? I mean... I don't know. Those items used to not be Mythics, bro. When she named herself that, she was named after the Mythic. Okay. Fisher going on to Crisp. He doesn't kill. He knocked the light, but didn't get him into the, the stun. Fisher is like 1 HP here. Good from Zhao. Oh my god, this is a catastrophe right now. Is this a catastrophe for EDG? Monkey's trying to save it. Decent flash. Doesn't actually kill. Oh, big play for Weibo. They needed this. People on 1 HP. Vampire has to tank this. He tanks it. They die on the next one. Oh, man. He's dead, too. Oh, my God. This is exactly how they could lose this game. This is the only play that you could make to lose the game, Fisher. This is the only way. And it's tilting, but it's such a bad play to make. And conceptually, why are you making this play? Like, Fisher, bro, what are you doing, man? For what? Fisher actually just, like, killed his whole team here. He unironically killed everyone. Like, I think the initial play on to Rakan is fine. But, like, what Fisher did, losing all of his HP here, forcing them through this choke, this is what loses you, like, the entire game, bro. So fucked. Fisher is good, I think. Yeah, Fisher deserves to be an important LPL. Monkey has no flash. He just dead or what? Maybe they can go out to Crisp? Where's the E, Fisher? Really? Ja, it's a flash there? Ugh. I mean, the game still is winnable for EDG because they have Smolder, but my god, it's ugly. Mm. Bro, 
Relax, Allah. 炮形态的波比怎么这么猛？我锤形态的波比打不过，何止是打不过，我打不着啊。That's just so really good for EDG. Yeah, I mean the thing is that they're actually going to be down like substantial amount of gold. Top turn is standing gold. They should be able to get Drake or uh, Rift Herald and crash that mid as well. So it's a pretty hard game for EDG. EDG should lose at this point. Snake也打得很惨，而且微博这个阵容等小炮两件套的话，他们打大龙的速度会非常快。嗯，其实会给到EDG很大的压力。or how does Fisher miss his Q on the buff? Fisher not gonna pick up the blue? Whatever, bro. Whatever. Fisher, Fisher just triggers me, man. It is what it is. Also, why is he not going Eliandre's this game? What is he going instead? He's going Shadow Flame because he has some weird obsession with this item. I don't know, bro. You dang benched after one game, but Targumus gets a second split. Targumus is good, bro. He's an LEC championship uh, champion. When was the last time that Yu Dang won in? LEC Championship. Uh, never. Older forehead. I feel like you would punch Fisher IRL. Nah, I wouldn't. Unless I was his coach. Fisher or Vikla? I mean, I would rather have Fisher on my team than Vikla because maybe Fisher has potential, but Vikla's better right now. Like maybe this guy is just a giga choker or something. Who knows? EDG保下飞射的推线 yeah, giving Drake for this play, I think it's good. I, I think that this is pretty bad what Weibo's trying to do, though. I mean, it ends up being okay, I guess. Like, you go bot, maybe? But I, don't, I, don't see, I don't think Weibo needs to answer this play top. Just give it the top turret. Take third Drake. Push mid here. He's a real dragon magic for EDG to take this. I mean, honestly, considering where they were like five minutes ago, the game progressed in like that absurd of a way. 
It's not that unreasonable for EDG to end up winning this game. Like, they shouldn't win from this point, but if Weibo makes, like, one big mistake, game could be lost. If, like, EDG steals a Baron or something, game would probably be insta-lost. I don't know, man. Smolder just makes the game feel like this like this should be like a a 95-5 for Weibo but Smolder makes the game feel like a perma 6040 已经在大龙附近聚拢了，随时准备rush。嗯，还想开团，我感觉他们这个走位，想打起来啊，想一点点先挤进野区，把视野的排的再深一点。So <laughs> you're saying I should bet on EDG at six point five？哎，有个CV，那可以。I mean for what it is, like that might not, that might be a, a, like a decent number to be honest. Six and a half。我没提，你也别想提。嗯, I think EDG could win this over one in every six and a half times. I don't know how much I trust Weibo. Like, Weibo does have a comp that you can throw with, you know? Like, Nocturne is a throw champion. The comp from EDG later on, like, does actually make it hard for a con to engage. But still, I mean, like I said, Weibo should win, but... Doesn't mean they're guaranteed to win. Got blue here. Two minutes until Drake. Oh, monkey. Jesus, bro. How many stacks does Smolder have? I have no idea. I mean, he shouldn't have it for this Drake, I guess. Assume he shouldn't have. I mean, this is going to be really close. It's really close for him to have it. Having it. You saw, I have to do a power spike after this, so no. Uh Power Spike, yep. Power Spike should be good, bro. I get to flame Monty for talking about KDF. For believing in KDF. KDF lost to DRX this week. Come on, bro. It's over for them. Hey, the snake has 200 stacks. He's basing right now to see if, like, what does he have, like, zeal or something? Looks like they are going to fight the soul. Even without Smolder having stacks, and they're just going to rely on him trying to get it during the, um, during the fight. Ah, uh, never mind. He has a crit cloak and a dagger. They have to go through mid here. So Zhao Hu has a lot of power in this fight. Like, this is a fight where Karma should be punishing people walking in. Oh my god, Ale. Jesus. Jesus, Ale. I mean, by hitting the Blast Code, he procs his passive, so he gets the shield. I guess. Uh, Jesus, he's a psycho. Oh, Fisher, bro. We can't be taking that. Oh, Fisher. Fisher has TP. He's going to have to base TP in. I think they can't contest it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Seems like they shouldn't contest. Seems like it's a throw. Oh, they stun Aatrox. They don't have the execute yet, though. And Fisher wasn't here yet. Yeah, enemy team gets Drake. Chris flashes in. Goes on to Fisher. Oh my god, the Madra Q is huge here. He's got execute. The snake has execute, but uh, hard for him to fight right now. Is he a flap, flap, flap? Uh, he's flapping. DDZ has this flash. Using not to use it. Dude, Fisher is so terrible, man. 
Fisher is so terrible. Like, watch how he plays this fight. Like, he doesn't flash the Rakan engage. He doesn't get a wall or anything. He t he gets chunk before the fight. Like, almost everything he did here was bad. Smoldering time. Yeah, so now we got to see how things go with the smolder. But the fights don't look like that impossible. Like, imagine if Fisher just doesn't get chunked to, to 100 HP before the fight. He should be recalling earlier. He just doesn't recall in time. Yeah, like imagine if Fisher is just here in the fight. Misses Q. Doesn't get his rocks out. Like, Rakan is running at him. He doesn't get his rocks down before Rakan dashes in. I don't know, man. I just feel like there's this, like... Yeah, I feel like he just provided nothing. When you consider how OP Talia normally is. Also, why does he have the Shadow Flame? This game? Like, what world do you take Shadow Flame as a Talia here over Leandre's? Isn't Leandre's just, like, giga-broken item? Actually gonna get the objective bounty mid. Pretty big. No flash on um on the snake here. No flash on the snake. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Enemy jungler is dead. I don't think they can Baron here, though. They shouldn't be able to Baron. I don't know, bro. I think Baron is really fake. They should not try to do it. Jiao or Jiao Hu is really strong here. Jiao is dead for 25. Knock is the throw champ indeed. Oh yeah, it's a huge throw champ. There's certain champs that I look at that it's like so easy to throw the game on. I mean, yeah, one of them is Nocturne. It's also really easy to throw the game when you have like a Nautilus on your team. When it comes to like 80 carries, I feel like, um, like Callista is a, is a champion that's easy to throw on. Just get outscaled. Make one mistake, you're fucked. Yeah. Vi is a throw champ. And Smolder is the opposite of a throw champ. Every AD carry looks so good on this champion. Just shows how much time AD carries put into learning it. That's what I really respect, guys. I like seeing the work ethic of the boys. Stake going shield bow. Assume he's just going BT like everyone else. Mm, we do not flip the game here, bro. We do not flip the game. Recall, Ollie. Recall. It's gonna come down to an elder fight versus Smolder. Nine champions in the game looking to get elder. One of them already has it. Let's go. Where LPL stream? I am the LPL stream. We are the LPL stream now, boys. How do you pronounce the Weibo jungle name and mid name? Zhao Hao, Zhao Hu. It's me. I'm the stream. 
Does Fisher get anything before it? He doesn't get his crit bloom, does he? I watched him brutally miss the cannon right there. It's okay. Does he have it? Crit bloom would be huge. He's buying a Phoenix Codex, isn't he? Dude, he was thinking about buying a Doran's ring here. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way he was considering buying a Doran's ring for maximum power. Hmm. All right, guys, let's let's see if it's smoldering time. Let's see if it is smoldering time. Vampire, relax, bro. Vampire, why do we do this? Oh, that was really bad from him. Is there a plant in the river or something for him? But we need a plant in the river. We need a plant. Oh my god, we're doing this? Vampire, what the fuck? Nah, he's he's in feeding. He's in feeding. Bro, what the fuck did he just do? Just play around your smolder. Jesus, man. Jesus. God, that was tough. Dude, Vampire and Fisher, man, it's, it's the mid, mid support from hell. Actually, the mid support from hell. How can play, bro? Oh, Ali is just tilted now. Wait, ZDZ, we flashed in here? I don't know, ZDZ. I don't think that was worth it, brother. Okay, we're getting a... Uh, we're getting in here or what? Light is kind of nuking it. Jiao Hu, they gotta dodge this next monster Q. Okay, they dodged it. Looks like a complete flip right now. Oh man, who's got TP? Ale has TP and ZDZ has no TP. Let's see if they can leverage that. We missed the combo. Monkey's trying to see if he can get it onto Elder. He can't. They have to give. Oh, Elder ended up proccing. Monkey is just dead, no? Okay, maybe not. Dude, has, has this guy hit a Talia spell? Has this guy hit anything? Bro, I swear this motherfucker can't hit shit. Like ZDZ griefed super hard trying to kill the, the poppy. Also, EDG, like once Weibo got off of it momentarily, what EDG should be trying to play for here is their TP advantage. Like when Ollie respawns compared to ZDZ, Ollie has TP. So they should have been playing to allow Ollie to join the fight and just like de-aggro it and just stall. Mm. Like, I don't even think this was good. ZDZ, bro. Like, he keeps on trying to suicide for, like, one kill in the fight. He did the same thing for Rakan last game. Really bad. Do you really think there's a single thought in the minds of Vampire Fisher, man? What TP advantage? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I doubt anyone was calling about the TP advantage. I mean, honestly, like the fact that it took that long to get Elder into Baron, like, let's see what they get done. I mean, Elder's 50 seconds. They should get at least an inhib here. But do they get two? If they don't get two inhibs, it's not like the end of the world. If they get one inhib, it's actually playable. I think here you want to be playing for the bot inhib. Look at the cues from the snake, bro. Good poppy ult. Delays them a wave for Baron. Oh my god, are they not going to get either inhib? That'd be such a big win for Fisher. Or for EDG. Yeah, Fisher is clearing this. Solo. Like, honestly, okay. Enemy team got Elder and Baron, and now they're up like 
7k. But I don't know, like, if they don't get an inhib, I don't know if EDG's in a worse spot for the next Elder fight. If they don't get an inhib, are they actually in a worse spot? I don't know, bro. I don't think so. Oh, they're probably trying to go on Jahu. Jahu has Flash. Wait, what are they doing? They're opening bot for, for, for no reason. They're opening bot. The fuck is this decision? We just gave bot and hit for free to defend the top tier two when everything was fine. All right, they're up 10k gold, but the enemy team has smolder. Who wins? 10k gold or a smolder? They're actually letting Monkey farm for his, uh, his Rukern. Still about 50-50, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't feel like a guaranteed win for Weibo when they're up 10k gold. Why not? Why is it not guaranteed? Why does this champion exist? Bro, even odds-wise, people are giving it fucking 2.9 odds for EDG to win. So the team that's 17th place, down 10k gold, is less than 3 to 1 odds to win because of the fact that they have this champion on their team. That's how disgusting this champion is. Nice, bro. Yeah, enemy team has soul and they had Baron and Elder. That's crazy. So team's banned. I mean, it was banned. It was banned in game number one. But yeah, they should ban it, bro. They should ban it. I mean, the thing is, just like, sometimes teams are confident in their early game. They're like, if we're a good early game team, maybe we just leave it up. Alright, Elder in 27. Let's see. I mean, is EDG in a worse spot now? They're down more gold, but Smolder has another two items. He went from having rapid fire to now, like, he's just been farming the entire time. He's got a Leandris plus... A BT. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Let's see the Elder fight. They gotta get in there, bro. They gotta get in there. It's being nuked. Oh my god, Poppy ulted them out. Oh, he got knocked out. Good from Triss. Oh my god, he stole him with W. Oh my god, Monkey stole him with W. Oh no. Oh no, Monkey stole with W, bro. It was such a good ult from the Trist. Oh no. Oh hell no, bro. Oh hell no. The Trist ulted out the Zin, and the Zin stole Elder with his W. Ain't no fucking way, bro. You can't make this shit up. No fucking way. And now they're going to get free Baron because of it. And then they're going to have Baron and Elder and they're actually going to win because they have Smolder. Oh my god! Oh, Shival, man. This was such a good ult from Trist. No, bro, he smited it to 12 HP. 1,212 to 12 HP smite. Oh my god. Oh no. Say it ain't so.
Say it ain't so. Kurlov is sitting there. He's like, yeah, I'm the best coach ever. I drafted Smolder. I'm just him. And now we have the angry people in chat. Angry people in chat. Standard match fix game. You know how hard that would be to match fix? It's like, all right, bro. When we do Elder, I'm going to smite it to 12 HP from 1,212. So make sure to time your W at 1,212 HP so that when I smite it, you get it, bro. Let's go. Only on the second elder, not the first. Yeah, on the second elder. On the second elder. First elder, we're going to get. We get first elder and baron, and then you get second elder, bro. That's how that shit works. Alright, elder is off this wave. But I think they're just actually stronger now. Ain't no way. Aha, we're playing Smolder. They have a gold lead, bruh. Yes, sir. Yes, they do. So here, I don't think you play too crazy if you're uh, EDG. I think you just let top wave push in. Your last wave of Baron, though. They're going to buff the wave, but that doesn't actually make the wave move faster. But people don't know that. Unless you use movement speed abilities. Oh my god, he went out to light? Oh my god, they win the game. Ain't no way. Say it ain't so. Wait, ZDZ's in? It's on to Fisher. Fisher's dead. Wait, hold on. Maybe they don't win? Oh my god, wait, they lose. Wait, they, they, is the game over? They, the enemy team ends. Holy fuck. They win. Wait, they end the game. Wait, they won. Wow, Vampire found a way to throw the game. Nice. <laughs> Vampire just engaged on Light who had GA. He engaged on Light who had GA. And then they were able to fucking turn and win the game. Nah, no way, bro. No way. You can't make this up, bro. This was, yeah. Holy fuck. Well, that was probably the only way they could have lost. That was probably the only way they could have lost. Excellent. Yeah, that, that must be a match fix, bro. Of course. Of course. That would that would be the way that you would want to fix the match. You're like, all right, bro, we're going to give you guys second Elder and Baron. We get first Elder and Baron. Then you guys get second Elder and Baron. And then once you have the second Baron, then you try to dive and we counter throw. Holy fuck. That would be next level. To throw us off. To throw us off. Holy fuck. <laughs> Crazy how sophisticated LPL match fixing has gotten. 
Well, that was a game, man. That was a game. Holy shit. All right, we'll play an ad, and then we get one more game. One more game. We're going the distance with LPL today. The full stream into Power Spike. It's going to be a long day.其实已经很接近胜利了，因为打到那时候，我感觉EDG是这这个阵容只要把阵型站好，已经输不了了。因为他是他这个阵容曲线是越来越往上的。嗯，我们看最多的情况下，EDG要落后八千六百块钱啊
虽然说真正在这一盘的后期啊，可能卡尔玛他就这个曲线就往下降了。对，那是英雄的问题。对，英雄的问题了。哇，这场相当相当精彩啊！我们马上要期待双方的决胜局了。呃，越是这种比赛，这决胜局恐怕就越好看。是的啊，两边的战队都对这一分是很关键。今天是吧 ？EDG 如果拿到三分，就今天将跟 RNG 执手相看泪眼的情况下，又同时往前进了一步，终结自己的连败。而对 WBG 来讲，想进季后赛必须拿到这关键分啊。把生活玩出新意，自由自在，灵感随行，用个性的方式画世界，让眼界突破边界，让远在天边近在眼前，让每一刻精彩不再等待。后的我们很年轻，相信坚持让我们赢到最后，熬过最灰暗的。止步于此了，好菜不怕晚了。莫思源，为热爱战争，尽荣耀之歌。We're back. Got a second coffee. All right, what are we missing? All right, patch preview. Okay, so patch preview. Smolder, we don't think Smolder has any underlying issues that make him long-term problematic in terms of kit design. He's just a bit strong, and that's not allowing his weaknesses, weaker early game, to manifest. I think some of the more frustrating... Okay, I don't want to read it anymore. Never mind. Let's just watch LPL. Yeah, it's designed perfectly. Based off our metrics, the design of a scaling champion that is pissed before he hits a certain amount of stacks and then OP after he hits that is not flawed. Yeah, 
When does LCK and LPL go to 14-5? I have no idea, actually. When do they go to 14-5? We investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing. <laughs> According to our champion design team, we have concluded that the champion was designed perfectly. Oh, also, by the way, do you guys know this game? Think about playing this game on stream. Where is it? Hello, neighbor 2. What do you guys think? It's like a horror puzzle game type thing. I feel like it could be fun. Do some solo queue, do that later on in the grind. Yeah, that game got a sequel. Yep. I would do solo queue as well. But just for later on. I mean, fine. No, bro, it's so much easier to do these streams when you're in Europe. Like, it's 3 p.m. my time. I woke up at 9.30. I was in North America. If I was at home, I would have to wake up at 2.30 to have this day. Or I guess 3.30 now because there's daylight saving time, but you get the point. Am I in EU? My coffee looks American? Bro, how does my coffee look American? It's just straight black coffee. Isn't that the most European of coffees? Just straight black, nothing in it. See you. I mean, I'm low key considering. I just don't know, like, how, like, it just sounds like such an undertaking, bro. I don't even know how I'll get, like, a visa to do that shit. I don't even know about taxes. Like, it just seems like it'd be such an undertaking, but I'd be so down to, like, have a, an EU apartment. Just, just buy an apartment in EU. Just have an apartment for, like, like three months out of the year. Smolder's banned! Pog! Smolder is banned. God bless. Okay. Ari first pick. Vi is up. Senna Nautilus picked. You'd expect it to just be Vi here for Xiao Hao. But why Zin with Ari? Why not Vi with Ari? Give yourself a little pick comp angle. I uh, means Germany? No, I mean, I'd be willing to live in other places in, in EU. Uh, TF. Okay, probably gonna be played by ZDZ. Go the Jacks, bro. Go the Jacks. Don't overthink. Go the Jacks. Jacks into Zinjiao plus TF. Go the Jacks, bro. Your name is Ale. You are the Jacks guy. Go the Jacks. That's it. Dude, don't overthink. Please don't go Jace, bro. Go the Jacks, man. Why? In what world? In what world do we go Jace? Like, I get that Jace can have slightly better lane phase, but I mean, you're playing into Xin Zhao TF. It's such a good Jax game. And even if you take the Jax here, you can potentially flex it into jungle as well. Like, you have flex option as well. So monkey needs to go some type of melee jungler, I think here. He could go a tank. He could go a straight tank. Could just be a rel or something. Zeri ban into light. Do they ban Tristana themselves or no? Do they care? You'd see a trust ban maybe. Wait, AD carry is weak. There is four AD carries banned in the first ban phase. Now there's five and a six one pick. Rail banned. 
What are they worried about? Like a Rel Samira type thing? Like what, what are they worried about? Rel Tristana? Hey, Jack's ban. Jack's jungle ban. Alright, what is Fisher playing? Is it Noriana? <laughs> I would go Huey here, to be honest. Hey, Oriana, we need a bruiser jungler on five. Please don't go Graves on five. Please don't go Graves on five. Please don't go Graves on five. Please do not go Graves on five. All I'm asking for. Not asking for much. Big Fisher, dude. Nah, bro. Camille. So it's a TF80 carry and a Camille top. Holy fuck, how turbo would that Jax be? Okay, and it is Volibear. Volibear is pretty decent here. I mean, even if they flex the TF80 carry and they went something else top, like, what would you really hate playing into? As Jax, if you're all a, like, he can play into every matchup, bro. You can play into Renekton, he can play into Rumble, like, he'd be fine. I think Weibo win. I think Weibo win. Oh, it's too loud. Oh, we probably have to close this. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wait, there's no, there's no AC, right? Rip. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, damn. Yeah, bro. Bro, I guess it's not until 9 p.m. Holy fuck. Is what it is. I was worried about it, bro. That's why I asked you. I think my... Yeah, probably. Probably. It's just hot in here. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I asked Gilius about that. Bro, it's 3 p.m. You can chat as much as, as you want. Bro, I don't even know. Was I shouting that much? I have no idea. Maybe when, maybe when EDG plays, yeah. Like 12 degrees in Berlin, what do you need the AC for? It just, it's hot when uh, the, the windows are closed, generally. EDG won draft. I mean, I don't know, bro. It's like, sure, if Jace is piloted like perfectly, I think you can win draft here. But I think that Jace is just really hard to play in this game. It's like really easy to pick them off. It's easy for TF to like find timers, to just roam from bot if they like do like a, a lane swap, go top. I mean, Camille, if he ever loses Flash, Camille is just going to be able to engage on him for free. I think it's pretty hard to execute the Jace here. And wait, hold on. Okay. Trading. How bad? Does this game go over 33 again? Uh, probably not. I mean, I mean, it could. I would not bet on game time here. But I mean, the left side draft, I mean, they want to get a lot of kills and like try to be in a winning position early. But maybe like over 33, I mean, they could be in a mega winning position and the game could end at like 34, 35. 
It's like in Baron, you know? Hey, Monkey going for a dive mid. Okay. Oh, maybe not. These wolves are up. The thing is, he doesn't really know that Zin is top. Zin loses really hard to Volba right now if they fight, but they've got the angle onto Ale. Ale has to try to make it to Monkey here. Playing in his gate, which is good. Goes on to Zhao Hao. They have to go on to Zhao Hao. Clean. Clean as fuck. Well played, well played, well played. Dude, did Ali even want this shove like this? I mean, I guess, bro. I think he'd be down to just base. Have that wave freeze on him. That was really well played. It's clean. Mm. <sighs> so clean, so clean. Saving his E for the... Yeah, he was trying to save his E to cancel <coughs> Camille hookshot. First by tier, not that good on Jace. It depends on how hard you think you could win lane. Like, if you think you're in a really good spot in lane, then you don't buy tier. You buy it on, like, your next base. It also depends on, like, your items. Like, a lot of people would prefer to, like, land on early, um, like, early, uh, not dirt, but Caulfields. But if you have, like, 1500, obviously go tier Caulfields. If you are on 700 gold, I mean, if you're on, like, 750. Depends on if you think you can win lane hard or if you want to start stacking tier. For sure, might have to flash here. Yeah, he's forced to flash. Monkey gets one grub. Senna's coming. EDG wants to fight this. Okay, he gets two. I mean, EDG would be really happy fighting this. This is a good time to fight. ZDZ is pretty weak right now. Oh, he's much stronger. Senna's moving over. Senna is stronger than Alistar. Alistar isn't based yet. They can dive top. Enemy team is trying to cover it. EF is not level 6. If they go for this, they probably lose it. Jiao is here. Oh, he's zoomed now, though. Chong 阿乐踩在蹲 cancel Ale he's too smart bro Top lane mind games Bad for Sunny she got no stack I mean she got stacks off grubs She also got a stack top It's not terrible They secured all three grubs with her roam Pretty good. That's just stomping mid. I watched the Zahu. Zahu. I mean, it's not a good lane 1v1 for Ari. 
Oriana's gig OP when it comes to like one-on-one -on -one laning. Bro, how sad is this for ZDZ? Look at that cannon. Oh my god. All these lanes in such a good spot now. Because even on this um this buy, it's not like all they can't lane or anything. Like two long swords, Dorans to Sheen, Ruby Crystal, Dorn Shield. He's actually okay, considering he has an experience advantage. Look, he already chunked ZDZ to half HP. They're trying to see how they fix the top lane situation. Also, Senna will be level 6 kind of soon. And then Senna will have ult here as well. EDG can still do playoffs? Uh, probably not. I think technically they're not eliminated, but they probably can't make playoffs. I think there is a world where you can make it at 6 and 10. I think you're not technically eliminated at 6, at, uh, six and 10. But, like, it should be almost impossible. They don't need, like, LNG, Weibo, like, to lose the rest of their games, pretty much. Oh, I missed the shot blast here. He should be looking to base kind of soon, though. Wait, what is Monkey building? Why does he have a winged moon plate, guys? Which contract ran out? Yeah, my Twitch contract ran out. <laughs> Bro, I swear people just say like random shit that just, I guess it's to like try to sound insulting, but it just makes no sense. No, bro, you didn't get your Twitch contract. No way, this is doing anything, bro. Well, this is the play that we talked about. TF ult top to break the Jace. I mean, Jace did really well doing his own thing, though. They're going to get six grubs for it. I mean, six grubs is so good for EDG, man. Because they should be, like, really strong on side lane. I mean, they have to be careful of pushing up and getting, like, ganked on side lane, but... Yeah. Side lane, I think, is pretty pretty scary to walk up to turret. Outside of that, EDG should be able to just push. Oh, man, this would be such a big kill. Oh, my God, he's on the run. Oh, he's dead as hell. <laughs> we got Drake, guys. I mean, they can, they can get a lot of damage done bot. Like, they should go hard on bot turret here. Senna's going to hit right now with six grubs. There's no way for them to really cover this bot turret. I think that this is like overall okay play for Weibo. It's not amazing. Just hitting ball with six scrubs, two champions with six scrubs. And they obviously get Drake. Like to wait for five minutes, what happened top? Yeah, I don't know, bro. You just <laughs> rewind it, I guess. I don't know. Right, he's paranoid, bro. He had a free chance to get this plate. 
，吃一层。哎，这把 EDG 是有六重的，推塔速度很快。The hell that QE? Where is he aiming? 尤其在搭配杰斯啊，下路也有爆破，吃一下。看两边其实资源交换的都挺不错的。这边 EDG 想入侵一波野区。Monkey 是有大招可以越塔的。Oh light! Yeah, he's dead as hell. Use the red card. <coughs> Straight up dove him. Good play. We got another plate mid. I mean, if you look at the plates, bro, they got four plates bot, three plates top, two plates mid. It is a solid little nine plate angle here. Can maybe get more, and this is the effectiveness of Grubs. Even though the score is two to two, they're up 1.5k. Mainly off just plates. Yeah, it's a dead man's plate. I hate it, bro. I'm not a fan of uh, dead man's plate. I mean, it make, makes sense on Volibear, but I just don't like it, bro. I'm just not a huge fan. They're doing a good job trying to use these grubs, get another plate here. Probably force out the turret. They gotta be careful though. Nautilus has TP. Oh, you, look, you look at Monkey. Monkey is trying to force this because he knows that Nautilus has TP. That oh, sucks that Fisher was forced in this angle. Okay. Oh man, this looks ugly. But I mean, okay, I think they still win, but it looks really ugly the way they played it. Oh, it's just a complete banger, bro. <laughs> this fight is so Chinese, man. It's so crazy. What a Chinese fight. God damn, that shit was hyphy. They just sent it. The fuck am I watching? You're watching a banger. You're watching a fucking LPL banger, bro. You're watching a mid-table team versus a bottom-table team in the LPL. This is what it looks like. And Vampire just sent it, bro. He just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Nautilus ults over here. Chris had no ult. Oh. Joe is going on to Ollie. Ollie's trying to proc his Eclipse. Oh, we can't. Nice kill. Nice kill from Zhao Hu. ZDZ just son of donkey. Okay, bro. Right, that's not very nice. This volleyball man. I mean, people have always like dead man played on volleyball. I just prefer other tank items. I think you could either go like Knight's Val, which is pretty good. I don't feel like you need more movement speed on Volibear when you're ready so fast with your Q buffs. I think in this game, just go Sundered Sky. You're playing versus three melees. Ooh, okay, nice. On to Jaha. This is good. Go kill him. Damn, Volibear versus Xin Zhao, bro. That's why it's miserable. Oh, he's seeping out, bro. He's leaving Brother Crisp. He said, fuck you, Crisp. You're on your own, buddy. Snake gets the kill. Volibear's driving. He'd be back mid. Drive to tier two. Get a second drive going. Oh my god, where was the snake driving, bro? That shit was scary. Almost crashing into the wall for no reason, bro. Fucking Weibo gonna lose. I'm so happy. Big loss, bro. It's a big loss. Weibo has not an easy schedule, bro. Weibo still has to play against BLG, JDG, IG, LGD. This is their easiest match that they had left. And they're losing. 
果断交闪，然后阿狸的魅惑应该是 miss 了吧？对，阿狸 gets a turret， 是被安排明白了，是吧？上路被越了两次，然后小虎插眼蹲了他一次，下路刚才又被打波闪，是的，但是感觉他伤害还是很高，嗯，哪怕被针对了这么多次，他现在对盘作用还是要比这个青钢影大很多。Frauds, bro, Weibo is not frauds. No one thought they were good. Monkey, Monkey. I gotta start fucking telling people that in solo queue. What's the minimum record to make playoffs in LPL? Technically, it's like six and ten. Is it would be the minimum? But like, most of the time, it's like eight and eight is the worst you can be. Seven, they'll probably be seven and nine this split because the top teams are so dominant. This way, Weibo, the card has not found the good time to fly. Hmm. Didn't take the rhythm. 因为每次团战的碰撞都是 EDG 打的会阵型保持。Are you saying there's a chance for EDG? Technically, yeah. No team is statistically eliminated from playoffs yet in the LPL. 现在抱团抱的很紧，只有阿乐上路那波点塔就是给了一波机会，后面就基本上没单走过了。对，你阿乐这种清边线也是比较谨慎的，等一会再清，怕有人在蹲他。Weibo is just team with fun player and no pro players. Xiaohu is not a pro player. They don't have a world champion on their team and a multi-time MSI champion on their team. Three of these players weren't in world finals last year. They have no pro players. WBG 这边需要给到 ZDZ 一些发育的空间啊，他前面来参一波团，死了其实很伤啊，尤其是他现在单线还没有办法对杰斯产生任何威胁啊。对的，所以他摇了一个兄弟啊，这小虎直接。How would bottom tier LPL teams do versus LEC? I would love to watch it, bro. I would love to see teams like Weibo play against like Vitality and shit. I want to see what's really up. Hey, TF play. They're going out to Seta. Seta's dead. Big play. TP is coming in. Monkey has ult and flash. Mm, Monkey is like 1 HP though. Going out to Nautilus. Nautilus CC'd. Knocked away from the turret. Okay, Zhao Hu. Can they turn this into a Baron? The monkey is menacingly looking at them. They can't turn it into a Baron though. Big play from Weibo. They needed that. This is crazy. Because if this fight is going to be so strong, WBG will not be able to accept it. It's just to get the fight to be able to get it. Because it's all small damage. At this time, small damage must be able to use in some situations to be able to use. If you get to the top, like the Fatih, Sena, it will be more comfortable. Yes, the team is not so good. Dude, it's going to be a long day. Right after this, we go straight into Power Spike. And I'm going out. Eat dinner with Gilius. And crack it, and she's gonna stream it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 
Weibo's going full ball lane. This is really risky from them. It's mainly up to like, the, like, will the snake get caught? If the snake doesn't get caught, I think it's so hard for Weibo to win. But if they are able to pick off the snake again with EF ult into gold card, maybe it's winnable. Snake has no flash right now. He'll have cleanse up soon. Is Rachel the third wheel if you go to dinner with Gilius? Yeah, pretty much. Rachel. <laughs> Into the IRL stream, it'll be that stream. All right, Crisp is doing his thing. I don't know what's going on here. Crisp should just die for free, bro. Just kill Crisp, man. Clean, solid. All right, all right, Baron, look to turn. You still have Nautilus Assault. You have easy ways to turn. All right, Baron, look to turn. That's it. That's all we're looking for here. Oh, ZDZ is just pushing. Be willing to not assault this guy and finish. Oh, Zhao, Zhao, how is just in? Oh, oh, he got one shot. Oh, wait, did he get one shot? He did get one shot. It's actually playable. Oh my God, they're gonna win the game here. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Oriana TP to defend Camille and they just lost the Baron and lost the game. Oh. Don't tell me he dies as well. Oh, Fisher, bro. Oh, Fisher. Oh, why, bro? Fisher, dude, why did you need to TP to defend this? You could have literally just played the Baron with your team and then defended this after. Oh. A Shibal, man. Bro, they were so like, they are trying to just do everything at the same time. They're trying to defend the split push and get Baron and take the fight all at the same time. Oh my God. Dude, Fisher is just like out here TPing. An enemy team is like, wait, Fisher's not here. Just kill Ole and they have no damage. Ah, it's so fucked, bro. It's so fucked. Bro, if we get this Baron, we can easy just play it. Hey, if we get this Baron, it's so easy for us to just recall. EDG sucks this year? Yeah, yeah, they're really bad. I think if EDG lose this, they're the first team eliminated from playoffs. What a feat. Is Fisher doing an LPL? I don't know, bro. People told me that he was good. It's like Korean import. Apparently, he was like good in Academy or something. He was on like T1 Academy or something. Apparently, he was on T1 Academy and he was like really good. That was when he was like 16, so people thought he would be good. He was insane. Well, doesn't look insane anymore. Not worth investing in Shockwave, I guess. He's my favorite. He helps my favorite team wave a win. And Ollie's dead. Wait, holy shit, they're gonna lose their whole base. This is such a criminal way to lose a game, bro. This is such a disgusting way to lose a game. It's tough to watch, bro. I'm not even like an EDG fan or anything. I don't even like this team at all, but it's just so hard to watch a throw of that magnitude. 
赵信，赵信暂时放不出枪阵，卡牌远距离黄牌，先定对手的泰坦，泰坦往回撤一下，但是要慢慢。Oh, we have to shockwave the minions just to be able to play, really? 英雄要死啊！魅惑出泰坦，先秒泰坦，上方也要很遭重，狗熊大招劈过来，但是飞车要被赵信。Ain't no way, bro. 用这张黄牌伤害已经溢出了，赵信捅掉了发。Ain't no way. 有青钢影踢到脸上 ，Monkey 帮他挡住这个钩索。Nah, this is just pure depression, isn't it? This is just a pure depression series. They lost us in 27 minutes, bro. Think about the spot they were in. And they lost us in 27 minutes. They were in a giga spot. It was free win. And they lost in 27 minutes. Well, that was one of the uh, series of all time right there, boys. That was a great series. Anyways, I gotta go because we are doing Power Spike pretty much right now. So I am going to host Inside on Esports and we're going to do Power Spike. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be over there. We're going to be going to talk about Global League. Yeah, we have a bunch of topics today. Topics are going to be um, about the LEC returning, everything on fire, smolder, and pro play, high key, low key, no key, um, which is how much we hate pre recorded drafts, fraud alert, KDF, and NIP. And the Galaxy Brain Club uh, opinions on LCS regular season and predicting playoffs. So those will be the topics for today. All right, hosting it, and we're off. Peace. WPG 2比一拿下本局比赛，来到决胜局前期赛，双方呢在上路展开了激烈的角逐，几波在先。